so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we're at Nailed It DIY Studio in Orlando, Florida. DIY means do it yourself. And today we're gonna build and make art. Oh, I can't wait, come on. Oh, look at all of this stuff. These are all signs that people have made and that's what I get to make today. Oh, look, this box says meow. <laughs> oh, I wonder if it's something that you could put cat treats in or cat food. Oh, and look at this one. <laughs> all guests must be approved by the dog. <laughs> that's really funny. <laughs> oh, I see some paint colors down here. Let's see how many colors they have. A lot. Oh, I wonder if they have two of my favorite colors. Do you know what they are? <laughs> oh, they're purple and yellow. <gasps> and they're right next to my best friend Blippi's favorite colors. Blue and orange. Ha, huh, that's cool. Wow. These are all the different wood pieces that you can use to make art. Oh, look at this one. It's pretty small. You can have a small sign that says, welcome. <laughs> or, whoa, look at this. This giant rectangle could make a really cool sign and it could hold a lot of words. Maybe it could say something like, Welcome, friends. Come on inside for snacks and games and good times. We love our friends. Welcome. <laughs> and here's a square. One, two, three, four even sides. And there's bigger squares up there. Hmm. Oh, cool. A circle. A small circle and a really big circle. Hmm. Which one should I choose? I think I like this one, the medium stack square. That's number 07. We have to remember that, 07. Okay, come on. Oh, hi Margie. Oh, hi Mika. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm excited to make art today. Awesome, so did you pick a size? Yes, number 07. Perfect, and did you wanna add anything to that? Oh, um, oh, maybe that silver hook right there. Okay. Oh, and can I also have that bow tie for my best friend? <laughs> Absolutely. So we have your station set up over here. You ready to get started? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. Okay, we have everything we need. We have lots of cool paint, two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, well, this one's called dandelion. Fancy. And we have pearl and latte. We also have a paint roller, easily put on the paint. And we have some sponges. We have silver hooks. And we have our crown stapler, our power stapler, and the stacked wood piece that I picked out. See, it's actually four little pieces. And when they're stacked together, it makes one beautiful square. <laughs> And what are these for? So these are actually to hold the wood stack pieces together. Oh, okay, makes sense. So what's the first thing we need to do? So your first step is to put a line of glue on each one and then flip them over. Okay, I think I can do that. Okay. Now what? So we have these lines here, and oh, those yeah. are actually where you are going to put the staples. Oh, so these lines, it's like a little guide. Exactly. So first we are gonna put our safety glasses oh, on. Oh, right. If we're gonna use a power tool, we need to be nice and safe. And remember, only use a power stapler if you are with a grown-up. Whoa, you're really good at that. <laughs> Think you can do that? Yeah! All right. So I'm gonna follow the black lines. That's my guide. All right. 
right, good teamwork. You are a pro. Oh, you did thank good. you. <laughs> All right, so oh. now you're gonna flip it over. And there you have it. Look at this perfect square. What's the next step? So the next step is we're gonna take it to the sanding station where you're gonna make it smooth. Ooh, let's make it smooth. <laughs> Come on. So this is the sander. Okay. What you're gonna do is put one hand here, one hand under here. Mm -hmm. There is a power button that you wanna push. Okay. Once it's on, you are gonna run it over the whole thing until it's as smooth as a piece of paper. Oh, all right. Well, why do you want it super smooth? It helps the paint stick to the wood. Oh, okay, so let's make this super smooth. Time to sand. So, we are going to choose your base color. So we're gonna look at oh. your stencil. <gasps> yes, I can't wait to see. All right, so this is the stencil we have for you. Wow, look at this. An ice cream cone, one of my favorite sweet treats. And oh, that's my name and my headband. Oh, and this is gonna be my bag. And this other stencil will help make it really look like my bag. Oh, I love it. Okay, so for the base, um, I'm thinking purple. Yes, yeah. that is a good color. Okay, so I can just put it everywhere? Yep, so you're just gonna squeeze that over the top of the wood. Okay. Okay, and I get to use this really fun paint roller to spread it all over the wood. So you're gonna paint the top and then all of the sides. All right, now we just wait for it to dry? Actually, we have a way to dry it quicker. Oh, how? So we are going to use this blow dryer. <laughs> You've probably seen a blow dryer before. It's to dry your hair. So there is that. You are gonna blow dry it on the base setting. Okay. <laughs> cool. Is it ready? Ready to go. Okay, turn it to base and let's dry! Okay, now what? Oh, it is dry. Cool. So now what you want to do is sand it until it's smooth again so that we can put the stencil on. Okay. This time I'm going to give you a piece of sandpaper as well so you can sand over the top of it. Nice. Oh, cool. It's purple sandpaper and it's really rough. But this rough piece of paper will make this smooth. Hey, those are opposites, rough and smooth. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Bobby pin. <laughs> All right, like this. So you're gonna go back and forth over the whole thing, just like that. Yes, perfect. Okay. All right, so your board is nice and smooth. We are ready for the stencil. Yes, all, all right. right. So the stencil has a couple of layers. We are going to peel the white layer off first. Oh, it's like a giant sticker. Yes. All right. So I'm gonna hand you one side. Okay. And we are gonna center it on your board together. I think that looks good. What do you think? I think it's pretty good, yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna stick this on. Okay. I'm gonna give you a squeegee. A squeegee? Yes. I know what that is. This is your squeegee. Yeah. What you want to do is run it over the whole thing. And you see how it turns a little bit darker? Mm-hmm. That's how you know it's really stuck to the wood. Cool. And this is going to push all the bubbles yeah. out. Yes. Okay. Bye, bubbles. So now that it's all stuck to the wood, what I want you to do is peel this top layer off. Okay. We're actually gonna start from over here. Ah. And pull down towards you, slow and low. Slow and low, my favorite way to go. Oh wait, oh, come on, sticker. Well, I did it. <laughs> wow. 
that looks cool already. <laughs> all right, so now we're ready to paint. Yes, all right. So, hmm, I'm gonna start with the ice cream cone and I'm going to use pearl. That way it will look like vanilla, one of my favorite flavors. So what you wanna do is dip the wide end of the sponge, that end of the sponge, into the paint. Okay. Take a look at it. Does it look wet? Yep. That's too much paint. Oh no. So what you wanna do is dab it off and you can use the paper or you can use the plate. Okay, I'll dab on the plate there. All right, look at it now. Does it look wet? Nope. You're good to go. So now you're gonna just dab up and down. Okay. For the whole thing. Like this. And is it okay if it gets on the blue part? Yes, it is. Okay. It's a stencil, so that part is gonna come off. All right. So let's cover this ice cream cone. Okie doke. Perfect. So now you can pour your next color for the cone. Ooh, and the cone, I'm going to make that a latte. We look like a sugar cone. I'm gonna be careful because I don't want it to get on the top of the ice cream cone. But even if it does, we can always fix it. Oh, you know what? I like your attitude, Margie. Okay, that cone's looking pretty tasty. Yes, it is. All right. So what color did you want to paint your name? Oh, my name, I want it to be yellow. Yes, I love it. All right, so let's go ahead and pour the yellow. Okay. So yellow there, wide end, dab, dab, dab. You got it. Oh yeah, now I'm feeling like a pro over here. Let's see, my headband is yellow. So I'll just use the same yellow. <gasps> Margie! What happened? I need two more colors for my bag. You're right. Do you know what colors are on my bag? Yep, blue and orange. All right, so go ahead and pick the blue and orange that you want. Okay. Down there. Oh. This is good, and oh, this. Ooh. Yeah, this will look cool. Okay, do we need the other stencil yet or no? Not yet. So okay. what we're gonna do with this is once we peel this up, we'll put this one on so it really makes it look like your back. Awesome. So I should start with this one, I think. Dab, 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 and get the whole bag. Perfect. All right, so take a look at it. Do you like it like that, or do you want to do another coat? Oh, I think I like it like that. Perfect. So we are going to give this one good blow dry again. Okay. And then we're ready to peel. All right, let's do it. So this time you are going to blow dry on the stencil setting, and just be careful, it is powerful. We don't want everything flying away. Okay, I'll be careful. <laughs> Here we go. That is powerful. <laughs> it's dry. So now it is reveal time. Oh, okay. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. So we're gonna turn it this way because we wanna peel the stencil against the grain. Oh, okay. Do you know what wood grain is? Uh, you can explain it. Okay. <laughs> so the wood grain are the lines that you see in the Oh, wood. that's right, yeah. So if the, if the lines of the wood are going this way, mm -hmm. we wanna peel this way. Oh, gotcha, against the grain, exactly. okay. Exactly. So you're gonna start with one corner and then peel down towards you. Towards this corner or each down towards you? So. Yes. All right, let's see how it looks. Whoa. Uh-oh, there's a little piece That's stuck. That's okay, it can rip, it can tear. That's totally fine. Oop, there we go. <laughs> Whoa! That looks so cool! How good you did! Wow! Check it out! So now we are ready to put the other part of your bag on. Oh, that's right! We have another stencil. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna peel the backing off and we will center it together. Okay. You good? Looks good to me. Okay. All right, ready? Let's commit! Oh, we did it! <laughs> You're 
ready for your paint. All right, let's get the orange on there. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, do you remember what comes next? We have to dry it. Yes, okay. Okay, now what setting should I put so it on? So you're gonna be on the stencil setting. Makes sense. Here we go. It's powerful. There you go. Woo! Everything's about to fly. I in. know. <laughs> okay, so do you remember the wood lines? Oh yes, you wanna go against the green. Yes. So we wanna go this way? Correct. Okay. There's my bag. <gasps> it looks so good. Oh, this is so, so cool. So now I just need two hooks because I want to be able to hang my headband and my bag. <laughs> All right, so we have the hooks right here. Okay. I'm gonna have you pick two hooks out of there. Yep, two hooks. Whoop. Okay, we have one. Two. So we are going to be using a power tool again. Okay, so, so we need our safety glasses. You know it, safety first. So I will drill the little holes to get the hook started and then you'll screw the hooks in. Sounds good. Let's put this one right here. Okay. You're ready All for right. the hooks. Two holes, and here we go. So I can just twist them in, right? Correct. Almost there. There we go. Nice. <gasps> it's finished. <laughs> wow, look at the sign. I love it so much. Thank you, Margie, for all your help in helping me make this awesome Mika sign. You are so welcome. <laughs> well, I guess I'll see you around. Yeah, sounds good. We'll all see right. you next time. All right, have a good one. Thanks Bye. again. You're Bye. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wasn't that so fun making this really cool Mika sign? <laughs> Today, I got to build a sign, sand it, and paint it. Art is so much fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing with me. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool, oh, we can spell it right here on the sign. Ready? M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time, bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at Triple Play Family Fun Park in Hayden, Idaho. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. <gasps> What's that sound? Oh my goodness, look, it's a dinosaur. Whoa, are you a Velociraptor? Whoa, wait, I heard about you. Are you Stanley? <laughs> Can you show me some fun things to do inside Triple Play? <laughs> awesome! Come on! <gasps> wow, there's water! Yeah! Oh, Stanley! You know those dinosaurs over there? Ah, hi! I'm Mika! <laughs> wow! Stanley, you're so nice to show me around! I love dinosaurs! <gasps> We should all act like dinosaurs. Can you help us? Okay, awesome. What's something a dinosaur does? Oh yeah, stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp like a dinosaur. Ooh, what's something else dinosaurs do? Oh yeah, they have really big and mighty roars. Let's roar together, ready? Whoa, Stanley. I don't know if I could roar as loud as you. <laughs> What's something else that dinosaurs do? What, dinosaurs dance? I didn't know that. Let's all 
dance together. Yeah, you got the move, Stanley. Okay, all right. <laughs> Aw, it was so nice meeting you, Stanley. Thanks for showing us how to be dinosaurs and taking us to this really cool space. I'll see you next time, buddy. Bye. Whoa, did you see how big his tail is? Stanley's so cool. I wonder what else is in here. Whoa, this place is really cool. I've never been in a space like this before. There's a huge pool. Whoa, look at this. It's a raft. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle. <laughs> and do you know what color it is? That's right, it's the color red. Good color. Alrighty, oh. <gasps> Let's get a closer look at Stanley's friends. Come on. Okay, let's sneak up on Stanley's friends. Hello. <laughs> oh, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Mika. Look, can you see their teeth? They have way more teeth than we do. And they're so, so sharp. They're carnivores. That means they like to eat meat. Whoa. These are velociraptors and they run really, really fast on their legs. Whoa, look how big and sharp that talon is. Whoa, can you imagine if you had those on your toes? <laughs> it would be really hard to wear sneakers if your toenails were like that. <laughs> Let's keep exploring. Wow, <laughs> look at this. It's like a water playground. They call it the Children's Lagoon here. Oh, look at that yellow slide. That would be so fun because you can land in the water and get all wet. <laughs> wow, whoa. See how the floor is painted different colors? I see yellow, there's blue, Oh, and all the way back there is red. It makes the water look like it's different colors. <laughs> Whoa, looks like you can walk up a net, go up the yellow stairs, and there's more water slides. This place is so cool. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, there's another fountain. Wow. There's water all over this. I think you would need a swimsuit to play on that playground. <laughs> Whoa, look over here. Dinosaur footprints. Whoa, do you think Stanley made those or another dinosaur? Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Whoa, look how much bigger it is than my foot. Whoa. Wow. Oh, oh, come here. Wow. This is an actual mold of a real dinosaur fossil. Do you know what kind of dinosaur it is? It's a velociraptor. <laughs> We've seen a lot of those today. Whoa. Look at its mouth. You can see its sharp teeth in there. Velociraptors lived 150 million years ago. <laughs> Whoa, is it snack? These are the ribs. We have ribs on our sides. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at the tail. Even the tail has bones in it. Wow. <laughs> Velociraptors are really cool and really ferocious and strong and super fast. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> More dinosaur footprints! Let's see where they take us! Whoa! Look at this! A crate of objects! Hmm! And we're by a giant pool! <gasps> that only means one thing! We should play Sink or Float! <laughs> Will you play Sink or Float with me? 
Awesome, let's do it. All right, let's see what we have in the crate. We have a blue bouncy ball. Whoa. <laughs> will it sink or will it float? We won't know until we throw. It's floating. <laughs> and we have a, ooh, a spatula. Maybe you've seen these in your kitchen. You can make pancakes. Ooh, do you think it will sink or float? Let's see. Whoa, it went to the bottom, but the handle is sticking up. It sunk. All right, will it sink or will it float? Wow, this is a really cool cup. I love these colors. Oh, I love it. But will it sink or float? Okay, what else do we have in here? Ooh, here's a fun truck. Vroom, 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 vroom. Ooh, nice and yellow. One of my favorite colors. Huh, I wonder if this will sink or float. Only one way to find out. Huh, it floats. <laughs> Whoa, look at these. Hello. Whoa, I can see you way here now. <laughs> Let's see, will these silly glasses sink or float? It looks like they're sinking, wow. I totally thought they were going to float. <laughs> All right, what else is in here? Oh yeah, another Velociraptor. <laughs> will you sink or will you float? We won't know until we throw! That dinosaur is definitely floating. All right. Hmm. Whoa! Hey! This is a ruler. You can use it to measure things. I wonder if it will sink or float. Oh! It's sinking! <laughs> Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Should we see if the rest will sink or float? And one big dump? <laughs> Let's do it. One, two, three, Whoa! Wow, I see some diving sticks that sunk to the bottom and everything else is floating away, goodbye! Ha. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> awesome. <gasps> Let's spell it in the pool. Okay, ready? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, thank you so much for having a good time with me today in this super cool place filled with velociraptors. I'll we'll see you next time. Bye! <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Mika, Mika. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the Gingerbread Factory in Leavenworth, Washington. This place is so cool because they're known for making gingerbread. Have you ever had a gingerbread cookie before? Oh, they're so yummy! And I love it when they have icing on them. I want to know how icing is made, and I bet I can find out in here. Come on! <gasps> Whoa, look at all of these delicious looking desserts! Hmm, but that's not the icing I'm talking about. Oh, look at these cookies, yum! They don't have any icing on them. Hmm, let's keep it. Whoa, <laughs> look how big that cinnamon roll is. Ooh, and that has yummy icing on it. And these cookies, they're shaped like hearts. Oh, they're so cute. I really like this pink one with rainbow sprinkles. That's the kind of icing I want to make. <laughs> that 
Hello. Hello there. I'm Mika, what's your name? I'm Ashley. Oh, nice to meet you, Ashley. You too. Are you a baker? I sure am. Oh, so I bet you know how to make icing. The sugary good stuff? Yes, that's my favorite. I sure do. Do you want to know how to? Yes, please. All right, come with me. Oh, awesome, let's go. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> so before we get to creating in the kitchen, we've got to wash our hands. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get our hands clean. So excited to make icing. Okay, so first things first, get some soap. Wash my hands. It's important to have clean hands when you're baking or cooking so you don't get any germs in the ingredients. Keep everything nice and clean. All right. Whoa, that's a lot of I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, so friend, this is 10 pounds powdered sugar, the first ingredient to making icing. That's a ton of sugar! Yeah. Do you want to dump it in the bowl so we can get started? Oh, sure! Okay. Oh, do I need to wear anything special? Oh, you're so right! We're going to have our apron. Oh, thank you! Yeah! Okay, this way we can keep all of the messes off of our clothes. Mm, so right. Okay. So the first thing is going to be the powdered sugar in this big bowl. Oh, yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's heavy. Good Whoa. job. Looks like snow. Whoa. <laughs> Perfect. Look at this. Yeah. Now it's snowing in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, there's still some more. There's more. Mm-hmm. All right. Oof, sorry for the mess, Ashley. Oh, you look great. <laughs> the next ingredient is meringue powder. Whoa, what is that for? That's to make the sugar whip together into icing. Whoa, okay. Maybe this will make such a big mess. Mm. Oh no, that was much better. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, we need the water to liquefy it. Oh, okay. The whole thing? The whole thing. Some water. Yeah. This is going to make a lot of icing. Mm-hmm. And so I don't have a poof on me. <laughs> We're going to have you mix that up till it's nice and liquidy. Whoa! You need some big muscles to mix all this icing together. <laughs> Oh, I can smell it. It smells really sweet. Mm-hmm. Round and round, get all the ingredients together. Okay, is that good? I think that's looking pretty good. Okay. All right. <laughs> Want to give that a little ting-ting? Okay, a little... A couple of tings. Uh -huh. <laughs> a few more. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put this guy onto our lovely machine and we're gonna get to mixing until it's nice and wet. Wow, okay. Yeah. Wow. This machine is so cool. And so helpful. Yeah, it's gonna mix everything together to make a really nice, smooth icing. Mm-hmm. Because grandma's before had to do it all by hand. Wow. One, two, three. Whoa! It's so cool! Come look! Woo! <laughs> okay, I cleaned up a little bit. Now I'm really ready to make some icing. Just in time, it just got done. Oh, yes! Yeah, so actually, you want to learn how to make a decorating comb? Yeah, that sounds so cool! Right, awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. So we got this bowl. Okay. All right, and there's a spoon already in there. Do you want to oh. scoop a couple of heaping spoonfuls Ooh, out? Heaping, heaping. Yeah. That means big. Okay. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Look at that! Some more in there. Mm -hmm. Wow, we made a lot of icing. Okay. Whoa. Perfect. Nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Okay. Okay. So next, you're going to take one of these bags. Okay. And you're going to fold it so we can hold it without getting our hands fold dirty. Fold it so you can hold it. Yeah. Okay. All right, now what? Perfect. You're going to hold it just like a cup. 
And here's your tip. Oh, thank you. This is what helps us push the icing through. Oh. And we're gonna slide it right on in, all okay. the way to the bottom. That perfect. Now you're gonna take your spoon and just put a couple of spoonfuls in there. <laughs> Not right. too much. Oh no, I'm gonna get messy again. It's okay. It's fun to get messy. Woo! <laughs> All right. Nice catch. Thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Should I start squeezing it down? Push it down just a little. Push it down just a little. With it still folded? Fold it up. Okay. Fold it up. Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna steal some too, so we're on the same page. Push it down. Yeah. See it? And I'm gonna do just a little. How's oh, that? did great. Yeah. So to make sure it doesn't all come out the top, mm -hmm. we have these lovely little clips. Oh, yeah. so I can fold it down. Fold it up. Fold it up. And around. Oh. Yeah, and then we push down. Push, push, push. Oh, perfect. Okay. Here's your lovely little clip. Thank you. Here's my lovely little clip, and we clip it on. Awesome, we're ready That's... to decorate now. All right, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Look at all of this. I see candy. We could decorate with candy, and <gasps> there's so many different kinds of cookies. Wow, look at this. A little person. <laughs> it's so cute. And <gasps> do you know what color this is? It's one of my favorites. Purple. It's a purple. Rectangle. And oh, look at this really bright circle. It's orange. <laughs> Ooh, and here's one of my other favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow. Nice. Kind of looks like a sunshine. And a blue square. Look at that. These colors are so bright and cool. And there's little circles. Look, they can be eyeballs. Hello. <laughs> All right, what should I decorate first? Hmm. Ashley, what do you think? Oh, well, if you don't want to use white, I made all these extra colors for you. You did? I did. Wow. I see purple and yellow yeah. and blue. Wow, okay, let's see. I think I'm going to make a little person. <laughs> Maybe I'll use purple because I love it so much. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do a purple shirt. And yellow pants. And maybe some white curly hair. And let's see. I'm gonna do a blue face. Eyes and a smile. <laughs> it kinda looks like my grandma. <laughs> Yummy. Woo! And maybe I'll decorate this one with a big yellow. See if you know what this is. It's the letter M for Mika. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. And it really makes it easier to decorate in these bags. Makes it easier to write things. This is 
so much fun decorating these cookies. Oh, hey, hey. Ashley. Hey, friend. Hey. How'd you like decorating today? Oh, I love it. It's so much fun. And I made you a little something. Oh. I'm getting pretty good at decorating. <gasps> Do you know who this is? It's you. That's right. And I made it just for you. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. And I also made... <gasps> Do you know? It's Blippi. <laughs> That's right, my best friend Blippi. I made this for you too. <gasps> thank you so much. Well, thank you yeah. so much for teaching me how to make icing. Anytime, friend. Oh, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> wow, this has been so cool learning how to make icing and how to decorate cookies. Look, hello. Hello, we're best friends. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great! M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. And today I'm at the Lang Foundation in Los Angeles, California. And here you can adopt a dog or a cat and then they can be part of your family. Oh, there's a dog right there. Oh, hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, Megan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is Willow. Oh, hi, Willow. Oh, it's always important to ask before you pet an animal. Uh, can I pet Willow? Yes, you can. Okay. So just Crouch down so you're on her level uh -huh. and put your fist out so she can hey. smell you. Willow, Willow. Oh, what do you think? Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Well, are there more animals inside? There are. Oh, let's go check them out. So what is this little one's name? This is Sprout. <gasps> Sprout, what a cute name. Hi, Sprout. I have some treats for Sprout. Sprout allowed to have a treat? Yes, he okay. is. See, you want a treat? You think Sprout likes treats? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Can we bring Sprout down to the ground and yeah. see if Sprout will want to play with us? Oh, Whoa, cool squeaky toy. It's a pink snake. <laughs> so once someone adopts an animal, what do they need to take care of the animal? Yeah, so for dogs, they need a leash, a collar, a harness, um, food, bowls, uh, and a lot of toys. Whoa! Food, bowls, toys. It's a lot of work to take care of an animal. It they is. need a lot of things. Oh, and is it different for cats? Yeah, so cats would need um, also food, bowls, uh, litter box, litter. Um, some good things to scratch on. Oh yeah, cats love to scratch. And a safe <laughs> carrier in case you need to take them to the vet. Oh wow. So you get a lot of things once you adopt an animal here. Yes, yes, we give people some of the food that they've been eating, um, some toys. And where do you get all of these toys? They have so many fun things to play with here. We get a lot of it donated. If oh, people yeah? have extra supplies, they donate them to us. And yeah, it's a big help for us. Whoa, what a great idea to donate toys for these dogs and cats to play with. <laughs> oh, what's this toy? Where did these animals come from? So we rescue these animals from city shelters. Uh, basically, the shelters are crowded with animals, so we take them and find them new homes. Oh, that's really nice. And if someone wants to adopt an animal, what do they do? So we would have them come in and meet some of the animals. They'd fill out an application, and we would help them find the right animal that matches their family. Wow, that's awesome! It's so fun to play with cats and dogs, but it's also important to remember you have to take very special care of them. Whoa, come look at this dog. Whoa, what kind of dog is this? This is an American Bully Mix. American Bully Mix, whoa. This is a bigger dog, Oh, And she's so loving, what's her name? Uh, her name is Lady. Hi, Lady. Aw, so, so sweet. What's this? 
a blue, oh, like a little mouse with a super long tail. <laughs> Aww. This dog is so cool. Ooh, and I love the purple leash. One of my favorite colors. Love your leash. Oh, and what's on her belly here? Yeah, so she's definitely had a litter of puppies. Wow, a litter of puppies? That's so cool. How many puppies do you know? Um, I don't, but I think they can have up to 10 puppies. Whoa, that's a lot of puppies. Wow. Oh, well, it was nice to meet you. Thanks for playing with us. Melissa is ready for her bandage change. Okay, great. Aww. Hi. So what room is this? So this is our medical treatment area. Oh, a medical treatment area. So this is where animals go to be taken care of if they're sick or they have, maybe they hurt themselves. What's wrong with her leg? So we rescued her with a broken leg. Aww. And yeah, now she has a cast on and she's healing. Oh, good. That must mean she's feeling better. She definitely is. Yeah, I can hear some purring in there. She's purring really loud. Yeah, cats purr when they're in a great mood, right? Aww. And why is she wearing a big yellow flower? She looks super cute, and yellow is one of my favorite colors. <laughs> so that's an e-collar, and it keeps her from taking her bandage off. Oh, that's so smart. And super cute. <laughs> are there other cats that we can see? There are. Oh, let's go see some more cats. Feel better. Cool. Welcome to the catio. Get it? Cat? Catio? It's the catio. <laughs> now they said that there are a lot of cats in here. Hmm. Will you help me find them? <laughs> awesome. Okay. Whoa. Look at all this. It kind of looks like something you would see at a playground. The cats can climb up here and they can scratch. <laughs> Come over here. Shh. I see a cat. Can you see it? Oh, it's sleeping. We found our first cat. Good job. Hmm. Oh, there's another cat over here. You see it? Hi, cat. That cat looks really soft. <laughs> and there's another cat. Hi, kitty. Wow, so we found one, two, three cats so far. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hmm. Do you see any other cats? <gasps> Come down here, all the way to the floor. There are two. Two cats in there. They're cuddling. I wonder if they're best friends. Oh. Hi. They're so cute. So we have one, two, three, four, five cats so far. I wonder if there's any more. Oh, wow. There's some water and some food in here. They take really good care of their cats. Hmm. Oh, look down here at these little boxes. See some blankets in here so the cats can be nice and comfy cozy. Oh, and look, it's a cutout of a cat face. That's cool. I don't see any cats though, do you? Hmm. Oh, I see one right here. Oh my goodness. Shh, this cat is taking a cat nap. Whoa, it looks really comfortable. I wonder if cats have dreams. Hmm. So, one, two, three, four, five, six cats. We found six cats. Thanks for finding cats with me. I wonder what else is here. Come on. Check it out! I'm in a cat room! This is where all the cats are hanging out, relaxing like this one. 
Whoa, hi, I'm Mika. This room is so cool. There's a tree in here. Whoa, I bet the cats like to scratch on the tree. Maybe they scratch their back on there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, and cool thing is to climb on. Look, a little cat toy, a little mouse. <laughs> what else is over here? Whoa, do you know what this is? This long yellow tube? The cats can climb up here and then climb through the tube. Maybe you've done something like that at a playground before. They must have so much fun here. And in each little cubby is where the cat can go and have a little nap. Any cats in here? Oh, there's a cat in there. I didn't even know that. Hi. There's two cats in there. I don't know if you can see. There's two cats just hanging out. Oh, a teddy bear. I wonder if cats like to cuddle with stuffed animals. That's so sweet. Aw. Well, I have a cat toy. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Let's see if some of these cats want to play with it, okay? Um, <laughs> anyone want to play with me today? What about you? <laughs> this cat's like, please don't bother me. I'm trying to take a nap right now. Okay, understood, understood. Okay, hey look, there's big bowls of water here because it's important for cats to hydrate, just like us. Hey, something else that they can climb on. And look, these little holes, these little hidey holes that they can just get all comfy. Cats seem to nap a lot. <laughs> Hey, Megan. Hey. Oh my goodness. Who Come is this? One more friend for you to see. This oh is Memphis. Oh my gosh. Can I hold Memphis? Yes. Oh, look at this little kitten. How old is Memphis? He's eight weeks. Eight weeks? Just a little baby kitten. Wow, Memphis is brand new to the world. Oh. Wait, is Memphis from Memphis? Um, I don't think so. I don't know how we got the name Memphis. Aww, it's a super cute name. So Memphis is only eight weeks old. What does Memphis usually do? Um, he plays with his two brothers. <gasps> you have two yeah, brothers? Yeah, two brothers. Oh, that's so fun. Wow, baby kittens are so teeny tiny. Aww, that's so nice meeting you, Memphis. Oh my goodness. You do such a good job taking care of all of these animals. Aw, thank you. Aw. <laughs> well, thanks for letting me hang out with you, Memphis. <laughs> that was so fun, getting to hang out with dogs and cats today. We learned about how to take care of our pets and adopt them and make them part of our family. Oh, cats and dogs are so cool. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, thanks for learning with me. See you next time. Bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout Mika. It's me, Mika, and today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Woo, look at these blocks. They're so fun and light. They're made out of foam. And look, this one is orange. And oh, there's a blue one there too. And it says, welcome. <laughs> That's so nice. I'm really excited because there are trampolines here and foam pits that you can jump into. And I really want to learn how to do a flip. I wonder if there's someone here who can teach me how to do that. Let's go find out. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Priscilla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Sky Zone. Ooh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> awesome. Okay, first we do need to pick out some wristbands in order to go inside the park. Ooh, I love wristbands. Hmm. So which color would you like? 
Oh, let's see. There's orange, green, <gasps> yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I want Mine this one. too. All right, here, let's go. Thank you, so official. <laughs> and now we have to pick out some socks. Okay, why do we need to put on special socks? The special socks have grip on them so that when you're on the trampoline, you don't slip. Oh, that's so smart. Hmm, let's see, we have some orange socks and ooh, some blue and black and pink socks. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the orange. I love this color and my best friend Blippi really loves orange. I'm gonna wear these. All right, perfect. <laughs> Thank so you. what brings you in today? Oh, I really wanna learn how to do a flip on the trampoline. All right, perfect. We have Quincy in the park who can teach you how to do a flip. Wow, okay, let's go find Quincy. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> Trampolines! And this huge foam pit behind me. Wow, I've never seen so many trampolines before. Will you count them with me? Awesome, let's go. Okay, ready? One! <laughs> two! Three! Four! Five! Wow! Five trampolines! Huh! I wonder where Quincy is. That's who's supposed to teach me how to do a flip! Oh, I'm so excited! Where is he, though? I wonder if he's in the foam pit. Should I jump in and see? <laughs> Let's do it! Woo! Wow! <laughs> Quincy! Quincy? Hmm. Quincy! I don't think anyone's in here, except me. <laughs> Whoa, it says foam zone. That's where we are, in this big foam zone. Check out these blocks. Look, you see a square? When there's six squares together, that makes a cube. And these are made out of foam, so it's soft and squishy, so it feels really fun and nice to jump into a foam pit. And you don't get hurt. <laughs> Look, there's orange, blue, and black. <laughs> this is so fun. I can't wait till I learn how to do a flip. I wonder where Quincy is. Maybe he's over there. Come on, let's go look. Whoa, this is cool. But I still don't see Quincy anywhere. Huh. Whoa. I know what this is. It's orange, it's round, and oh, it bounces. This is a basketball. But why would a basketball be at a trampoline park? Hey. There's a basketball hoop <laughs> and another trampoline. I bet jumping on a trampoline and throwing a basketball into the hoop is a lot easier than if you're just on a regular ground. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's see. On three. One, two, three. Ah, didn't get it in. Oh, here's another one. It's yellow. Maybe I'll try and throw it. Words. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hmm. Maybe if I do three big bounces to the hoop, that will go in. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, there's one more ball. Okay, how should I do this one? Hmm. Maybe. I'll do one giant bounce and a turn for finesse. <laughs> Ready? One. Oh, I still didn't get it in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna keep looking for Quincy. I can't wait to learn how to do a flip. <laughs> Quincy! 
No, Quincy. Huh. Let's go over to the other side. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Do you know what this is? This is a balance beam. It's called that because it's a beam and you have to have really good balance to stand on it. Whew. You don't want to wobble and go side to side. Did you know that there are a lot of animals who have really good balance? And mostly because of their tails. <laughs> Squirrels have really good balance because of their swooshy tails. And cats, meow, meow. <laughs> and kangaroos. Yeah, kangaroos have long tails that help them balance. And they're really good jumpers. <laughs> <laughs> Will you jump with me? <laughs> hey, let's jump over there. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! More trampolines! Look how many are in here! Whoa! Wow! <gasps> that has to be Quincy! He's so good at jumping! Whoa! <laughs> I am Quincy. Hi, I'm Mika. It's nice to meet you, Mika. How nice you doing? Nice to meet you too. I'm having so much fun here. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Mika. So I heard that you are really good at flipping. You might have heard, right? Oh, well, I want to learn how to flip too. Can oh, you help me? I can take good care of you. Oh, awesome. <laughs> what do we need to do first? All right, first and foremost, we have to warm up. Oh, right. It's important to warm up our body so we don't get hurt. Exactly, Mika. Okay, so what do we need to do? So first things first, you know, we're just gonna touch the ground. Oh, okay, we're just touch, touch the, the ground. ground. You know, then we're gonna lean to the left, and then we're gonna lean it to the right. Okay. Ah. And you know, once your legs feel all good, you get some jumping jacks in. Woo! You know, you know, have some fun with it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow, it's kind of like making a snow angel in the air. Exactly. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting warmer and looser. Are <laughs> right, you feeling warm and loose? I think so. All right, let's see if you can do a jump twist then. Whoa, a jump twist! Okay, ready? <laughs> Whoa, like okay. that? Just like that. Wow! <laughs> I got what else one can we you. do? Well, you ever done a somersault? Yeah, have you ever done a somersault before? Okay, let's do it together. All right, you know how to do a somersault, Mika? Yeah, so what are the first steps, just the as a steps, reminder? Visualize your platform. Ooh, okay, visualize. Then you're gonna put your hands out. Okay. Oh. And fall. Okay, so hands out, and what do I do with my head? You're gonna tuck your head in like a bowling ball. Oh, tuck your head in like a bowling ball. You're gonna tuck. And roll. And then become the ball. <laughs> become the ball. Here I go. Whoa. <laughs> Just like that, Mika. That was so fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? All right. Visualize. Visualize. Head tucked. Head tucked. And become the ball. Become the ball. Oh, whoa. <laughs> that was really fun. That was really fun. Now I got a question for you. Yeah. Think you can do it in the air? Oh, I've never tried before. You want me to show you? Yes, please. All right. So first, you're gonna get a whole lot of air. Whoa. Whole lot of air. And then, next you're gonna do, you tuck your chin again. So once you get all that air, you're gonna tuck your chin. And remember, only try and do a flip if you're with a grown up. Whoa, did you see that? He just did a front flip in the air. That was amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. How do you jump that high? Uh, Basketball helps. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Sometimes you just gotta have fun with it in there. Hop over your leg. Wow. You're so good Meditate at jumping. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. That was so fun. But Quincy, I don't know if I'm ready to do a flip in the air like you just did. Well, you gotta keep practicing, Mika, and then you'll get it. I got it. So I have to remember to jump really high, stay in one spot, tuck my head, 
and go forward like a ball. Exactly. It's just like a somersault, but you're taking away the ground. Got it. Thank you so much. Of course, Mika. I'm going to take all of these things and I'm going to practice and then one day I'll get to do a front flip just like you, Quincy. I hope so, Mika. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course. I'm going to go bounce now. All right, me too. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun playing and bouncing at Sky Zone Trampoline Park. <laughs> I really wanted to learn how to do a flip today, and Quincy was an amazing teacher. He knows a lot about flipping and bouncing on trampolines. Oh, and it was so fun jumping into the foam pit. The foam pit was nice and soft and squishy and oh, made out of blocks like this. Wait a second. Do you know what this says? It says, Mika. <laughs> That's me, that's my name. Well, I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. If you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. We'll see you next time, bye. Come on everyone, let's make learning fun. to learn about it'll make you want to shout Mika hey it's me Mika and today I'm at the intrepid museum in New York City check it out the intrepid is so big it's an aircraft carrier that can have airplanes land on it that's how big it is <laughs> let's go inside and explore come on check it out we're at the Concorde this is one of the very first supersonic airplanes. Do you know what that means? That means that this plane goes faster than the speed of sound. We get to go inside and check it out. Come on. I got gotcha. you. There you go. You can get it after. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, you want to? Oh, yeah. Of course. Yes. Oh, oh can you just? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I'm Mika, your flight attendant on Supersonic Airlines. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Mika. I'm just playing. <laughs> this plane is so cool. Check out the seats. Ooh. Can rest your arm and just relax on your flight. <laughs> Did you know that this plane holds the world record for fastest flight from New York to London? <laughs> it got to London in under three hours. That's really, 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 really fast. <laughs> hey, wanna go check out the cockpit? Let's go. Hi, I'm First Officer Mika. <laughs> A first officer assists the pilot. But there's no pilot. Hmm, let's see. Let me just give a little call here. Hello? Hi, yes, it's First Officer Mika, and we don't have a pilot. Mm hmm. No, I'm looking right now. There's no pilot. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, this is so cool to be in the cockpit. There's so many different buttons and controls, and this is the steering wheel. It controls the wings of the airplane. <sighs> Whoa, look at all of these circles. See? There's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, it says visor nose. This controls the nose of the airplane. It can either go down or it can go up. You have to know a lot to fly a plane. What else? Oh, see the wheel button? The wheels, make sure you go in for a nice smooth landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, what else is in here? Whoa, all these little numbers look like something you'd see on a telephone. Ooh, and this is the throttle. This is how you can go fast or slow. So you wanna go so fast, you wanna go so slow. <laughs> hmm. Wow. I wonder how long it takes to learn what all of these buttons and controls do. Ooh, ooh. Can we just get ready here? Are you ready to fly with me? Awesome, let's count down together. Three, two, one. Fly! Woo! Let's go even faster! Woohoo! 
Here we are on the flight deck. This place is amazing. We're up high. We can see a lot of the New York City skyline. And look at these amazing planes. This is where planes would take off and where they would land. But it's actually not long enough, so they would use a device to catapult planes into the sky. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Whoa, look at that plane. Oh, I see a helicopter. Oh, they're just hanging out on the flight deck. It's where the planes hang. And they have these beautiful views. <laughs> what? There's someone on one of the planes? <gasps> You're right. Hi. Hi. Let's go get a closer look. Hey. Hi, come on up. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Jen. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do here? So I am a museum educator, which means that I teach all kinds of people, students, children, adults coming into the museum. Awesome. So you must know a lot about planes. I do. Well, if I'm in the front here, does that mean that I'm the pilot? You are a pilot, but you are still learning how to be a pilot. So you're technically a student driver. Oh, okay. So then would you be the pilot or the instructor? I would be the instructor. So I would be back here and I could take control of the plane if I needed to. Oh. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. oh, I really like the look of this plane. I love the colors. I can see red and white and blue. Absolutely, the red, white, and blue let other planes know that this is an American airplane. And also the red and white, they're high visibility. So it lets people know that you're still learning how to be a pilot. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so cool that I get to be inside of this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to go inside of a helicopter? Yes, I would. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. So this is our Sea Guardian helicopter. It was used by the Coast Guard to help rescue people out in the ocean. Wow, that's super important. Absolutely. And you'll notice here we have pontoons, one pontoons. here and one on the other side. And then the shape of the front of the helicopter matches that of a boat so yeah. that it can land directly on the water. Whoa, this helicopter can land on water? Absolutely, That's it can. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're also gonna notice that we've got colors. We've got red and white, similar to the Mentor that we were just in. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we were just in a red and white plane. Yeah, so same colors, both so that they can be high visibility so people notice them, but a bit different reasons. The mentor over there is high visibility, so people stay away from you because you're right. learning, new, new learning flyer. to drive. Uh -huh. And this one is high visibility, so that people know to flag you down so that you can help them. Oh, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Wow, what a helpful and useful helicopter. Yeah. In fact, the way it helps people, you'll notice the hook right up here. There's a basket inside. We could connect to that hook to lower down into the water. Wow, yeah, let's go see what the basket looks Absolutely. like. Absolutely, come on in. Okay. Wow, look, it looks like a giant basket you would use to get groceries. Yeah, you need it to fit people in there, so it needs to be a big basket. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. really big. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, you can see the hole right here that would connect to the hook. Oh, yeah. And we even have some floats on either side of the basket to help it float when it drops down into the water. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, before you let me pretend to fly the airplane, did I pretend to fly this helicopter? Absolutely, let's go. <gasps> yes, let's do it. Check out the cockpit in this helicopter. Yeah, all kinds of different controls in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I see a lot of circles and buttons and knobs. Absolutely, but the three things that you're gonna use to really steer this, mm -hmm. you have your pedals yeah. down on the floor, okay. just like you would in a car. You have your joystick right here that's oh, going to... You have one too. I have one too. All right. And then you have this control right here, which lifts up and down to help lift the helicopter up and down. Whoa, so you use your feet on the pedals. Mm -hmm. You hold on to this. What did you call it? Joystick. Joystick. And you have this controller too? Absolutely. You're that's doing a lot. lot. <laughs> that seems like a really hard job. It is. It's really complicated. Wow. <laughs> yep. And then when you want to land, we have landing gear, just like we would on a plane. So that control is oh. right here. Yeah, I'm going to flip it. it up. 
Now, you're not always going to have the landing gear down for this one because remember it lands on the water. So oh, we're not right. going to use our wheels when we're landing on the water. Oh, so we don't even need that? Not all not the time. If we're landing not on if water. we're landing on water. Absolutely. Oh, cool. And then yeah. I've seen this before in a car, parking brake. Yep, so that does help when you're on land. So just make sure it doesn't go rolling away anywhere. Oh, very smart. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like an official helicopter flyer. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see you soon. Jen and I have a big landing coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's land do this. this yes. Woo! Oh, cool. This looks like a map of the Intrepid. Yeah, you can see the entire length of the ship. It is as long as three football fields lined up end to end. Whoa, that is really, really long. We did some serious walking today. Definitely, a lot of exercise, a lot of steps. Wow, well, I'm gonna keep exploring, but it was so nice meeting you, Jen, and thank you for showing me all of this. Absolutely, it was nice showing you around and have fun. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Hey, look behind me. It's the Intrepid. Well, it's a model of the Intrepid made out of Legos. Isn't that cool? Let's get a closer look. Whoa, this is amazing. There's so much to look at. Oh, I see people, workers and helpers. You know, you can know what kind of job someone has based off of the color of their uniform. So, oh. Like right here, brown. And see, this person's wearing brown too. They are pilots. And oh, this friend right here in green. <laughs> and there's another one. If you're wearing green, you help direct the planes. You help with takeoff and landing. Whoa. Oh, look at these two. These are two officers. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good to see you. <laughs> Old friends. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> <gasps> These two people are wearing purple. One of my favorite colors. They have really cool jobs. They refuel the planes or they juice up the planes. And because they wear purple and they juice up the planes, they have really cool nicknames. They call them the grapes. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder what else is here. Let's go find out. Oh, this looks like a comfy, cozy spot. There's three bunks. Do you know who would sleep here? The sailors! Oh, let's try it out. Ah. Whoa, can you imagine if you're on a bunk bed for three people? You have a friend here, you have a friend down there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That'd be such a fun sleepover. Ah. Oh, I bet there's more to go see. Come on. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, this is the part of the ship for different ways to communicate to other people in ships. Like, here's the other end of the voice tube. Hello. <laughs> oh, and over here, it says Morse code. Let's see. Type your name in Morse code. Yeah, did you hear that? It's a way to communicate with other people that are super far away. So, hmm, I'll spell my name. If it's a long line like that, you hold it down. And if it's a dot like that, it's... Okay, so Mika, M, E, E, K, a H Mika, if anyone is wondering. <laughs> oh, and this big light is another way to communicate with people on ships super far away. Let's see. Whoa, that's a really bright light. You could probably even see it through a really foggy night. Hello! Check out these red paddles. One, two. They're kind of like ping pong paddles. Well, they're super cool and helpful because it's another way to communicate. Pilots needed to be able to land safely, so they relied on signal landing officers like me. Let's see. Uh, let's try this one. It says, wave off, do not land. 
do not land. <laughs> or this one that means too high, you're too high. Or too low, you're too low, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, here's another way to communicate with signal flags. Let's see. Uh, I want to tell that ship over there, the pizza has been delivered. My work here is done. Oh, huh, something cool over here. Looks like a person wearing a green shirt. Hey, we saw something like this on the model of the Intrepid. Do you remember? If someone's wearing a green shirt, they help the planes take off and land. You're doing a great job. Smooth landing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you know what color shirt this is? It's white. Yep, this is a landing signal officer. Hey, that's like the one I just did with the red paddles. That was a landing signal officer. Hello, I'm a landing signal officer. I, I don't think they sang, but. Oh, this one is wearing a blue shirt. If you're wearing a blue shirt, you're a plane handler and you move the aircraft around the flight deck. What kind of job would you want to have? They had so many different jobs on the Intrepid. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what a fun day at the museum. I can't believe that we got to go inside of the Concorde and an airplane and a helicopter. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is the Lockheed A-12. It goes super fast, three times the speed of sound. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun learning with me today. This is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, see you soon. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at O2B Kids in Orlando, Florida. This place is really fun. They have games, they have dance classes, and I want to learn some new dance moves. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Trudy. Welcome to O2B Kids, the new learning playground. Oh, thank you so much. So I want to learn some new dance moves today. Mr. Christian is available for a dance lesson right now. Really? Where is it? You can head to the theater. Oh, let's go to the theater. <laughs> This is it, the theater. Oh, let's go inside. Whoa! <laughs> Amazing dance moves. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Mr. Christian. I'm the dance teacher here. <gasps> wow, a dance teacher? Could you give me a dance lesson? Sure, but first, what moves do you want to learn? Oh, I want to learn a hip hop move, a break dance move, and a ballet move. Awesome, awesome. But first, before we do that, we have to go warm up and stretch, okay? Oh yeah, makes sense. Where do we do that? Follow me. Oh, okay. Follow Mr. Christian. Oh, I'm so excited to get started. Me too. All right, first, we're going to warm up. Oh, it's so important to warm up your body before you dance, get your muscles loose and warmed up so you don't get hurt. Absolutely. All right, so first, we're going to run in place and count to eight. Oh, yeah. You count to eight in dance because you can easily break up the sections in music when you're learning dance moves. And you don't have to count too high. Absolutely. All right, ready? Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Stop. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> I'm awesome. already warming up. Awesome. All right, so next thing, we're going to do our pizza stretch, okay? I love pizza. Me too. Okay? Okay. So we got to go into our straddle. We're going to sit on the ground. We're going to go into our straddle. We're going to spread our legs out. All right. You can sit on the ground too. All right. And we're going to roll our dough out. So roll our dough. And we're going to pat, 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 all around. Pat, 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 pat. There you go. And then we're going to pour our sauce all around. And then we're going to spread our sauce, spread our sauce. Awesome, awesome. And then we're going to sprinkle our cheese. Ooh. Sprinkle our and cheese. if you're dairy-free, you can use dairy-free cheese. Cheese with no dairy. There you go. 
And then we're going to put our toppings. So I'm going to put chicken on mine because I okay, love chicken. Okay, I'm going to put some mushrooms and ooh, green pepper. Ooh, I'm going to put some pineapples on ooh, there. Mm -hmm. That sounds yummy. Yeah. All right, and then we're going to put our oven mittens on. Yep, okay. mm -hmm. protect Just, ourselves. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to take the pizza, we're going to put it in the oven. So we're going to open the oven door. Shh, shh. We're going to put the pizza in there. Shh, shh. We're going to close the door. Shh, shh. And then we're going to count to eight. Okay. Ready? We're going to go one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Ding, 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 ding. It's ready. Fast cooking pizza. Yeah. So we're going to take it out, open the door. Shh, shh. Take out the pizza. Shh. All right, ready? And three, two, one. No, 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 and count yeah. to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Wow. I feel really good now and warmed up. Awesome. I'm well, ready to dance. You ready? Let's mm -hmm. go. Okay, come on, let's go learn some dance moves. Whoa, we are in a real dance studio. This is awesome. I can't believe you are gonna teach me hip hop moves break dance moves, and ballet moves. You know a lot about dance. What do you love most about it? There's just so many things about dance I love, but a few things that I love are that I can use one side of my mind, which is the logic side, and the other side of my mind, which is the creative side, and put them together through my movements. Also that it's a form of self-expression. Oh, yeah. So you can really express yourself through the movements. And also it's a sense of community. It's really about love and sharing that with everyone. Oh, that's so cool. I also like to express myself through music and dance. It's such a fun way to just be yourself and let loose and have fun. Yeah. <laughs> and you especially do that in hip hop, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Oh, what are the hip hop moves we're gonna learn? Okay. So our first move is our step touch, step touch. Okay. And when we do that, we're gonna count to eight. Okay, oh, you yeah. ready? Oh yeah, count to eight, I remember. All right, so first, we gotta step out with our right foot. Okay. One, and step together, two. Mm -hmm. And you step out with your left, one. Step together, two. Oh, step and then repeat step that, yep. Touch, I get it. Yeah, there you go, <laughs> step touch, okay? So we're gonna do that a little faster. Okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Five, six, seven, eight. One. one. Two, two, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Good job. Yeah, nice. <laughs> awesome. All right. So next, we're going to do the same thing. Okay. But we're going to add arms to make it look really cool. Whoa. You ready? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, two three, four, five, six, five, six seven, seven, eight. Good job. Wow, that did look yeah. cool. <laughs> awesome. All right, so after that, we're gonna do our top rock. And our top rock is a really cool move because it's their basic move for break dancing. Okay, so we are learning a basic move of break dance. So yeah. awesome. <laughs> okay, so first, you're gonna take your right arm. Okay. So right hand over, and then your left hand under. Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna step out with your right foot, and okay. your heels gonna point up to the sky. And then our arms are gonna go out like you're about to give a big hug. Oh yeah, big yeah. hug. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat it to the other side. We're gonna step out with the right. We're gonna, put, we're gonna switch our hands over, left over, right under. And then we're gonna kick out with our left foot and our toes point up at the sky again. And we're gonna make a big hug one more time. Ah, Ooh, big hug. There you go, good job. Nice. You think we can do it a little faster? Yeah, let's try it. Right. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, one two, two, three. three. Four, five, five six, six, seven, eight. eight. Yes, oh, good so job. Fun. Thank yeah. you. All right, and our next move to make it a little more flavor and Ooh, put our feet on it, yes. we're gonna do a crisscross. Are criss you ready? Criss that? Cross. What's that? Okay. So it's pretty, pretty simple. Okay. So your feet are kind of shoulder width apart. Okay. And think of it like a scissor. Okay. okay. You're like you're chopping paper. Okay. You go. So you go cross with your right. 
over your left. I know it's a little confusing, but we'll go through very slow, okay? okay. We're gonna go right foot, shoo, shoo, and we're gonna cross, shoo. Oh, it is like yeah. scissors, like and you're cutting yeah. paper. Exactly. And then we're gonna switch it to switch feet. So you're gonna go left or right, ready? Mm -hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, two, two. And switch. Yeah, there you go. Do a little faster. Okay. All right, ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Two, 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 two. Yes, good job. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. All right, after that, we're gonna move into our ballet. Oh yeah, I really love ballet. Yeah. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our feet together. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna put our heels turned out. Okay. You see your toes or heels are kissing each other and going okay. mwah. Awesome. And we're gonna put our arms into our beach ball like this. Okay. Ooh, mm -hmm. All right. And we're gonna count. We're gonna count to eight one more time. So we're gonna go. One, two, two, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven eight. eight. Good job. Okay? okay. And that is called our plie. Oh, and that means to bend in French. There you go. So we're gonna do it just a little bit faster. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, One two, two, three, four, four five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. Good job. Great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. And then to add a little more spice, Flavor to Love our it. ballet. Uh -huh. We're gonna do some tendus, okay? Oh, and tendu means to stretch in French. There you go. So we're gonna do our tendus to the side. We're gonna start on our right side. We're gonna do it four times. And we're gonna go one with our right toe out. Uh -huh. And we're just gonna bring it in. Boop, boop. One more time. Out. Boop. Bring it in. Boop. Out. Boop. Out. Bring it in. Boop. In. Out. Out. In. In. Good job. Thank you. You're welcome. And now we're gonna go to the other side, okay? Okay. So our hands are still on your hips like this. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna go out with your left foot. Out. And then bring it. And you're gonna go out. Out. And bring it. In. And you're gonna go out. Bring it. Out. Bring it. Oh, Good job. Thank you. Wow. Can we do a little faster? Yeah, let's try right. it. Ready? Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yay! Good job! Thank you for teaching me all of those moves. Of course, of course. Are you ready to put it all together? I think so. All right. It's going to be a little faster. It might be a little challenging, but I think we can do it. I think so too. All right. You ready? Yep. All right. We're going to start with the step touch. You ready? Yes. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Arms. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Top row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Crisscross. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Time to do. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Oh, I have an idea. Okay. After that, can we freestyle and express ourselves however we want? Absolutely. That's the point of dance. Absolutely. Oh, awesome. I think I'm ready to do a performance. <gasps> I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay. All right. Let's do let's it. Let's do it. Let's okay. do it. You lead the way. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Introducing the wonderful, talented, and unique Mika. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hello. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet ya. Hey. I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. My name is Mika. Yeah. It's nice to meet ya. Hey. I'm quite a thinker. That's me. And I like to tinker. Come on. Well, you know.
Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that was so good. <laughs> Thank you for teaching me all of those new dance moves. Of course, it's my pleasure. Oh, you're a great teacher. Oh, thanks. Well, I'll see you later. All right. Thanks, Mr. Christian. You're see welcome. ya. Bye. Wow, we had so much fun today and really learned a lot. We learned about warming up our bodies and staying loose when we learn new dance moves. And speaking of dance moves, we learn new hip hop moves, break dance moves, and ballet moves. And we did a great job counting to eight. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <sighs> awesome. M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, we'll see you next time. Keep dancing. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Play Day in Brooklyn, New York. Today is all about fashion and style, which I love because fashion helps you express your personality. Check out my outfit. I have two of my favorite colors, purple and yellow. Oh, and I love accessories like my jam pack and my watch. And because today is really sunny, I have one of my favorite accessories, sunglasses. Hello. <laughs> I feel so cool in my sunglasses. And I heard I get to put more things on my outfit inside. Come with me. Hi, I'm Mika, what's your name? Hi, Mika, nice to meet you. My name is Laura. Welcome to Play Day. Oh, thank you. What kind of things can I do here? Oh, we have so many awesome classes. You can do painting, sculpture, cartooning, architecture, and fashion design. <gasps> fashion design, that's what I'm interested in. I wanna add some things to my outfit. Great, so the first thing we can do is start with a mood board. Have you ever made a mood board? Yeah, I've made a mood board before. A mood board is a board of pictures and colors and words that inspire you. Okay, great, so let's get started. Follow right, me. come on. Wow, this is a big board. Well, Mika, this is your mood board and here are all the materials that you can use. And here is your apron. <gasps> Thank you so much. So have fun and I'll come check on you in a bit. Okay, thanks, see you soon. Whoop. Oh, I'm so excited to make this mood board. Okay, let's see what we have. <gasps> Whoa. Look at all of these colorful balls. Ooh, those are really fun. There's some paint. Hmm, what should I start with? Crowns. Oh, I'm gonna start with purple, one of my favorite colors. Hello again. Hey, what do you think? It looks great. Can you tell me a little about what you made? Sure, I'd love to. So I put the word confident on here because confident is the feeling I feel when I wear this outfit. And I have music notes because I love to sing and dance. And I have a big purple M because M is the first letter of my name, Mika. And it's purple, one of my favorite colors. I think we're ready for our next step. I think we have enough inspiration, so. We should do a sketch now. Oh, a sketch. I know what that is because I'm such a planner. Fashion designers will use a sketch to help them plan what they want to make. Okay, so let's go. Follow All right, me. Come on. Wow, this is cool. So one way to make a sketch is by tracing your body on the chalkboard. And then, based on your mood board, you can add all the elements that you want to put on your garment. Wow, what a good idea! Okay, Mika, can you please lean against the chalkboard? Oh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Yeah, for fashion designers, it's super helpful to plan and sketch out a idea or design before you make something. Ooh. <laughs> all right, how's it looking? I can't wait to see. Okay, Mika. Ready? Yes. All right. Oh, 
Yes, I love it! I'm feeling inspired already! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you can add the elements to your design and I will meet you at the sewing station. Okay, see you there! Bye! Thank you! Okay, so first I think I'm gonna draw the outfit I'm wearing right now. So, what am I wearing? What do you see? Yeah, my purple t-shirt! So, let me find some purple here. Whoa, look how big this chalk is! It looks like a potato. <laughs> All right, so let's see. T-shirt, short sleeves. Okay, that. All right, I'm gonna color it in. And do you notice anything else on my purple shirt? Yeah, I have some yellow on there. Whoa, look at this piece of chalk. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do some yellow here on the sleeves. And yellow here. And where else is there yellow? Up here, around my neck there. Some yellow. And I have a yellow pocket. <laughs> right side. Ooh. Okay. What else do I have? Purple shirt and my jeans. Okay, I'll use the color blue. All right, and you can see a little bit of my ankle, so I'm gonna cut them down here so I have room for my shoes. I'm gonna color them in blue. Okay. Blue jeans, my purple shirt, and oh, my accessories! I have a compass watch that's purple and yellow. So I'm gonna use this purple again. And let's see. There's yellow on it too. Oh, I'm feeling like such a little designer. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can copy it. Little yellow there. There's a little yellow there. And the rest is purple. And there's a white circle in the middle. Can you see it? It's really tiny. Okay. That. And then check out my bracelets. There's blue, yellow, purple, orange. Wow, that's a lot of different colors. So we get some purple on there. Blue and ooh, a little orange. Okay, and yellow. Awesome. And oh, speaking of yellow, I have a yellow bow in my hair. Oh, I should draw my hair. It's brown and curly. Can't really tell what color this is. Let's find out. Ooh, look at those curls. Go on, Mika! Woo! Okay, okay. And then I'll put my yellow ribbon here. Mika, you look amazing. All right, and I have some white and purple and yellow ugh, shoes. Okay. Whoa. Okay, some shoes. And, hmm, I feel like something is missing. I have my bow, my shirt, my jeans, my accessories. <gasps> my jam pack! Oh, I forgot my super fun jam pack. Okay, let's see. I need blue and orange. And there's a white circle in the middle. Hmm, just like my compass watch. Okay, so I need orange and blue, and I'll use this black to draw the strap, and then the big circle. Okay, so there's blue on top, and blue on the bottom. These two are orange. And 
there's the white button in the middle. Okay, yes, she's looking great. <laughs> okay, so I wanna add something, I think, to my shirt. There was something on my mood board that got me really excited. Do you know what it is? It's the letter M for Mika. I think it would look so cool if there was a purple letter M right there on my pocket. So let's see if I'm right. Ooh, it's kind of hard to see. Yes, yes, that's what I want. The letter M sewn onto my shirt. That way my outfit will look super complete. And I think I'll just add some little bedazzle here in my bag for fun. And I forgot my face. <laughs> All right, the eyes, the nose, and a giant smile. Twins. <laughs> All right, let's go over to the sewing station so I can get my M put on my shirt. Come on. Hey. Hi, Mika. I'm so excited to be at the sewing station. Welcome. I have the sewing kit ready for you. <gasps> Did you decide what to do with your design? Yes, I'm so excited. I want to add a purple M to my shirt. That's great. So I'm going to give you another shirt so you can change. Oh, cool. All right, thanks. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hi, Mika. Hi, thank you for the shirt. You're welcome. <laughs> so I have my shirt here ready for the letter M. That's great. So first thing we're going to do is talk about the materials that we oh. will be using. Yeah, there's a lot here. So for sewing, we use needles, mm -hmm. plastic needles for kids, and sharp needles for adults. Whoa. So make sure that you have a grown-up with you when you're using those sharp needles. Yeah, good idea. We also use thread and scissors. Oh, so needles, thread, and scissors. Got it. Perfect. So to thread the needle, we're going to pass the yarn or thread through the eye of the needle. Oh, oh, I bet the eye is right here on top. That is correct. See that opening? Ooh, that <laughs> looks kind of difficult. <laughs> so don't worry, I have a trick for it. Okay. You can fold your yarn, mm -hmm. so that way it's easier to pass through the needle. Oh, smart, okay. Perfect. So next, you're going to choose the color that you're going to use. Hmm. There are a lot of great colors. Oh, I think I want to use orange. I love this color. <laughs> Perfect. So now we're going to cut the thread. Okay. To measure, you hold it with your fingertips. Where's the end? Where there it is. From <laughs> <laughs> and then pull it to your elbow. Okay. Ooh. And that's a perfect size to start. Nice. You want to cut it? Yes. Team work. Perfect. Love it. So now we're going to make a knot on one of the ends of our thread. Okay, you make a knot here. Yes, perfect. And we're going to call that the tail. Whoop. Got a little tail. And now you can thread your needle. Okay, should I try your trick? Yes. Okay, just like the professionals do it. <laughs> I'm gonna be very careful because the end of this needle is sharp. <laughs> so close. Oh, oh, oh. That's fine. I can do it for you. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's really tricky to do. Yes. It's okay. It takes practice. I have to practice more. All right. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for your help. You're welcome. So now you can start sewing. Another tip is that you hold both the needle and the thread when you're stitching. Oh. That way the thread will stay in the needle. Got it. Okay. Oh, I don't have the letter M. No worries. <laughs> I have it ready for you right here. Wow. It's exactly what I had in mind. Look, it's purple. One of my favorite colors. Oh, thank you so much for making this. You're welcome. Okay, so... I think I want it to look like this. Hold it up so you can see it. What do you think? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So cute. Okay. So, hold both the needle and the thread. And I'm gonna watch my fingers here because it's really sharp. And just poke a hole. And then pull the needle through, right? Yes. Okay. Make sure you pass all the thread through. Whoa, 
Mm -hmm. Good job. <gasps> I did it. My first stitch. <laughs> okay, and then go back through. Yes. Okay. Jeez, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> Okay, look, it's starting to stay on the shirt. Good job. Now you secure your M. Okay. Thank and you. You can add a few more stitches. Okay. Let's see, maybe I'll do one here. Okay. The final stitch. All right, now what do I do? Well, now we can cut the excess thread. Okay. I can help you. Thank you. I can take the needle. Oh, thank you. Be careful. Yes. All right. I can't believe I just did that all by myself. Great job, Mika. Thank you. What do you think? I love it. Oh, thank you so much for helping me today. You're welcome. I hope you had a good time and keep practicing everything you learned today. I will. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mika. See you Bye. later. Bye. Okay. I can't wait to put this on. See you soon. Check it out. The letter M is on my shirt and I think it looks really good. I love it. Now my outfit is complete. Oh, and I have one more thing for fun. For my jam pack. Ooh, nice. <laughs> I had such a fun day. I got to make a mood board, a sketch, and I sewed my very own M on my shirt. This was so cool. And what's cool about fashion and style is, you can express yourself through your clothes and accessories. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> all right, I'll see you later. So much to learn about. It'll make you wanna shout Mika. And today I'm at Billy B's in Anaheim, California. My best friend Blippi has been here a few times and said it's so much fun. So I thought I would come here and see for myself. <laughs> I have my compass watch and my jam pack, so I'm ready for any kind of adventure. Come on! Oh! Ah, oh, it's a note to me, dear Mika. <gasps> And it's from Blippi! Oh, <laughs> let's read it! I'm so excited that you are going to Billy B's! You're going to have an amazing time! I've put some things in your jam pack for you to play with throughout the day. You just have to figure out where to use them. Have fun! Oh, you put things in my jam pack? Let's see! Oh, there's a... Hmm. <laughs> a chef's hat? Okay. Carrot seeds? Huh. And colorful ribbon. Interesting. <laughs> I wonder what I'm gonna use these items for. Well, only one way to find out. Oh, cool. And Billy Bee's socks. Let's play. Honeycomb Village? <laughs> Sounds fun. Let's go. Oh, cool. <laughs> Hey, look at this, a garden. Ooh, I love gardens because that means there's delicious fruits and vegetables here and I love to eat. All right, let's see what's in this garden. Ooh, corn on the cob. Mmm, delicious. Ooh, onions, two onions. One, two, yummy. Oh, do you know what these are? It's a root vegetable. That's right, potatoes. One, two. Oh, and I see a big potato right here. Yummy. Oh, this is getting me hungry. There's even strawberries in this garden. One, two. <laughs> Wait a second. Wasn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a garden? Yeah, I think there was. Carrot seeds. Oh, this will go perfect in the garden. I can just, let's make some room, excuse me, food. Excuse me. And put some carrot seeds in there. And you need nutritious soil. 
and some water and some beautiful sunshine and then a fruit or vegetable will grow. Ooh, I can't wait to see these carrots grow. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I'll take a snack for the road. Hmm, maybe I'll find a yellow snack. Like a huh, banana. That's a nice, healthy fruit filled with potassium. Hmm, let's go. <laughs> Did you ever notice that a banana kind of looks like a phone? Hello? Hello, Mika. Yeah, it's me, Mika. How are you? Good. What are you up oh, to? Oh, I didn't even know that this was charged up. Yeah, hi. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I gotta go. I'm playing with my friends. Bye-bye. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> hey, I better finish eating this banana. Hmm. <laughs> Peeling and... Mmm. Pretty good. <laughs> Put the peel right here in the trash. Oh, and look, it's like we're in a little house. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> ice cream in the freezer. And there's two ice cream cones. One, two. One for me and one for you. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, and the refrigerator's on the bottom. I wonder if there's any treats in there. No treats. Looks like somebody needs to go grocery shopping. <laughs> oh, whoa, there's food over here. Look at these two baskets of food. Hmm, we should make something. What should we make? See a lot of bread and cheese and let's make a sandwich. Okay, let's see. What do we have? What do we have in this basket? We have bread. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have burgers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We have cheese. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And we have tomatoes, please. Let's stack it. Let's stack it. Come on, we're gonna snack it. <laughs> Check it out. Burger, cheese, tomato. Ooh, it's gonna be messy, but it's gonna be yummy. Mmm! -hmm. Tasty! What else is in here? Oh, a really tiny soda. Oh. <sighs> nice and refreshed. <laughs> Whoa, look at this cool sink. Oh, looks like there's some dirty dishes here. Ooh. Ooh, we really need to clean this spatula. So, oh, here's a sponge. Get a little soap on there and some water. Time to clean. <laughs> there we go. Hey, when you're playing, it's always best to clean up if you make a mess. <laughs> Whoa, okay, let's get some water on here and <gasps> good as new. So clean. <laughs> I wonder what else is here. Let's go. Whoa, a pizzeria. Let's go inside. <gasps> wow, look, pizza. Ooh, I love pizza so much. Hmm, isn't there something in my jam pack that belonged in a restaurant? Let's take a look. Oh yeah, a chef's hat. Okay, if I put it on, I can be a chef. Chef Mika, welcome to my pizzeria. Okay, let's see, we have the pizza ready. Let me get one of these trays here and let me just slide that on here. Ooh, good thing it's pretender. That would be really hot. <laughs> okay, let's put it together to make a nice circle for the pizza. Okay, who ordered the mushroom, tomato, cheese, and green sprinkle pizza? Oh, you? Oh, well, it's ready. Let's go to the register so you can pay. Okay. Let's see, you've got the cheese and the tomatoes and the mushrooms and the green sprinkles. I'm gonna give it to you for free. The sprinkles are on the house. Okay, that'll be one million dollars, please. Whoa, thank you. Okay. Whoop, there you go. And Here's your change. <laughs> All right, here's your pizza. 
Enjoy! Actually, pizza sounds pretty good right now and oh yes, I'm due for my lunch break. Okay. Ooh, and that pizza special that you ordered looked really good. So I think I'm gonna have the same thing. And there's one ready for me right over there. Ah, oh, it looks so yummy. Hey, will you count the pizza slices with me? <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, six yummy slices just for me. Ooh, and pizza's so fun because you can eat it with your hands. <laughs> All right, let's see. Maybe I'll put some, a little pepper on there, just a little bit. And ooh, some salt. <laughs> ooh, hot sauce. I love spicy food. Okay, actually. <laughs> oh, that looks really yummy. Okay, here we go. It's too hot. It's too hot. Okay, I thought I could handle it. I cannot. That's okay. We'll just leave it there for a second. Maybe I'll come back to it when I'm feeling a little better. Let's see what else is here. Come on. Whoa, look at this really colorful place that we can play in. Come on. Ooh, these are fun steps. Look, the color green. And this step's the color blue. And this is the color green. And this is orange and blue and green. Hey, there's a slide over there. Will you meet me at the bottom? All right, see you soon. Oh, I can't wait to go down the slide. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> that was really fast. Hey, there's something super colorful over there. <laughs> Let's go. Whoa, check out the rainbow slide. <gasps> That must be where I'm supposed to use the rainbow ribbon. <laughs> Did you see that? There's so many different colors. And it looks like there's a ribbon for each slide. <laughs> Guess I have to go down every single slide. Are you ready? I'll meet you at the bottom. See ya. Whoa! Blue! Light blue, <laughs> here I come. Green, <laughs> yellow, <laughs> orange, <laughs> Woo! <laughs> red. <laughs> hey, we did it. We figured out where to use the items that Flippy put in my jam pack. We got to plant carrot seeds, and oh, I wore the chef's hat when I made pizza in the pizzeria. And the rainbow ribbons led us to these really cool rainbow slides. Oh, it was so much fun playing with you. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. <laughs> Mika. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. Mika, Mika. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout Mika. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Munchkin's Indoor Playground in Los Angeles, California. This place is so awesome because you get to move your body and have a lot of fun. And we get to play a game today. Come on. Whoa, this place is amazing. It's slide time. 
meet you at the bottom. Whoa! <laughs> that was so fast. Did you see? Oh, and I landed in a ball pit. Whoa! Ball pits are so fun. Ooh, and I like all of these colors. Let's see. <gasps> Pink. <laughs> and there's blue. And white. There's so much you can do in a ball pit. You can dance. You could juggle. Whoa. I only know how to juggle two balls. I don't know how to do three yet. I have to keep practicing. <laughs> hey, look over here. Whoa. At the very top, it looks like a big scoop of ice cream or maybe a marshmallow or something. Oh, and there's a cool looking pattern on it. White, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, all the way around. Aw, oh, I like that. Ooh, let's go inside. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> oh, this is a fun little space. Hmm. Whoa, look at this. This ball has words on it. Let's read it. Go to the slide for an item to catch and find the play area that looks like it's match. A match, that means that it looks the same. Hmm, hey, looks like we get to exercise our bodies and our minds. <laughs> this is gonna be a really good game for the mind. Hmm, go to the slide. There must be another slide here. Let's go find it. Oh, this has to be the other slide. I wonder what's gonna happen here that will help me play the game. <gasps> Look! Whoa! Have you seen this before? It's a stethoscope. Maybe you've seen one at the doctor's office? Yeah, a doctor will use this to listen to your heartbeat. Oh yeah, nice and healthy. <laughs> I wonder if there's a doctor center around here. Let's go find out. Hmm. I wonder where this stethoscope goes. Oh, look at this cool thing. Oh, hello. Oh, let's look up here. Hmm. I don't think this is where our stethoscope belongs. <laughs> it's really fun though. Whoa. Hmm. <gasps> hey, look, mini clinic. We found it. This is a doctor's office. The stethoscope definitely belongs there. Come on. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, hello, welcome. Do you have an appointment? You're, oh, yep, you're right there. Come on in. <laughs> Doctors and nurses are so cool and very important. They take care of us and make sure we're feeling nice and healthy. They check your heartbeat. See what kind of tools are in here. Ooh, they'll probably look at your eyes and look inside your ears. <laughs> and sometimes they have you stick your tongue out and say, ah. Ooh, and look, there's some glasses. Ooh, one of my favorite colors too, yellow. And look, you can dress up like a doctor. So official. And a little hat. Cool, how do I look? Dr. Mika. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely where the stethoscope goes. Okay, let's just clean up and go back to the slide. Come on. I'm so excited to see what the next item is. <gasps> Here it comes. Whoa. <gasps> Do you know what this is? It's a tomato. Ooh, one of my favorites. Yum. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if there's a grocery store or something here. Let's go look. Whoa, a carousel. Oh, look at this nice orange one. Let's get on. Oh, hello, horsey. I'm Mika. Hmm, I wonder how this thing works. That's not it. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Whoa, this is fun. Hey, what a cool way to look for a space where the tomato belongs. Hmm, let me know if you see something. <gasps> right there! A supermarket! 
This is definitely where the tomato belongs. Hey, look down here. More food. Yeah, a supermarket or a grocery store is where you can buy food, like a tomato. Hmm, what are some other red foods? <gasps> Ooh, what about this red pepper? Yummy. Hmm. Oh, here's another red pepper. And, oh, I love this red food. Strawberries. <laughs> I'm gonna have a red meal. Hmm. Ooh, more strawberries. And an apple. Okay, now I have all of my food. I have to pay for it. Let's go inside. <laughs> Come on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh. All right, let's see. Oh, I guess I can ring up my own items. Hmm. All right, bell pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, interesting. <laughs> strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay. More strawberries. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, now we're cooking. Pepper. Beep, beep, beep. Ooh. Apple. Beep, beep, beep. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And tomato. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, yeah. Now we're grooving. How am I going to pay for this food? I don't know, but I'm in a good mood. <laughs> oh, it looks like I have a credit card here. Let's see, my grand total is $6. Okay, let's see. Okay, that worked. All right, don't need any change. I think I'm done here. <laughs> okay, so the tomato is with the food. Good job matching with me. Hey, let's go back to the slide and see what else comes down. Come on. I'm having so much fun. I wonder what the next item will be. Whoa, look at this. A firefighter helmet. Yeah, firefighters will wear a helmet like this to protect their heads when they're fighting fires. Huh, I wonder what kind of area would have a firefighter helmet. <laughs> let's go find out. Whoa, did you find where the firefighter helmet belongs? <laughs> Good job, looks like a match. See, there's a fire truck and firefighters drive fire trucks to where the fire is to put it out and save the day. <laughs> this is a really cool truck. Oh, see the big ladder and, ooh, a walkie talkie. <laughs> firefighter Mika here, over. <laughs> Yes, that is correct. Everything is fine here. Yes, have a good day. Okay, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And look, here's where the siren is so people know that a fire truck is on the way. It sounds like Something like that. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'll put this firefighter helmet here. That way, if someone wants to play, they can be the driver and wear the firefighter helmet and look like a real firefighter. <laughs> Let's go back to the slide and see what the next item is. Come on. Yes, so far, so good. I think there's another item about to come down. <gasps> Whoa, oh, oh, that was fast. Ooh, what is this, Gouda? <laughs> That's kind of cheese, one of my favorites. <laughs> oh, do you know what letter that is? It's the first letter of the alphabet. <laughs> That's right, the letter A. Hmm, I wonder if there are more letters around here. Let's go look. Okay, I have the letter A. I wonder if there are any other letters around. Hmm. Oh, I see letters in there. Let's go inside. <gasps> Whoa, it's a trampoline. <laughs> All right, let's see. I have the letter A. <gasps> And there's B, C, D. This is definitely where the letter A goes. Hey, I know what we could do. We could think of an animal that begins with the letter A and then we could act it out. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> I have one. Ant eater. <laughs> Can you act like an ant eater? They do in fact eat ants. They have really long nose and mouth and they go around and they look for ants. Any ants over here? Nom, 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 nom. Any ants over here? 
Hey, give me that ant back. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> oh, and the next letter, the letter B. Ooh, I know one, a bat. Let's act like bats together. Bats begin with the letter B. Spread your wings and fly like a bat. Or jump, whoa. Kind of feels like I'm flying for real. <laughs> and the letter C. Cat begins with the letter C. Hmm, how can we act like cat? Get your little paws out and meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Whoa, calm down, cat, calm down, cat. What about the letter D? The animal starts with the letter D. <gasps> dog! Can you act like a dog with me? Okay. <laughs> Good job! Now you can just jump and bounce and have, whoa, fun! <laughs> hey, bounce begins with the letter B. <laughs> Let's go back to the slide and see if there are any more items. Come on. Oh, these slides are so cool. I wonder if anything else will slide down. Oh, look, it's one of the ball pit balls. I wonder if we need to go to the other ball pit. Whoa. Oh yeah, we definitely need to go to the other ball pit. Let's go. Okay, let's go find that ball pit. Come on. Whoa, a big white slide. Oh, I have to go down. Ready? Three, two, one. Woo! Whoa, that was so fast. Do you see the ball pit? It's behind me. Whoa, let's find a fun way to get into it. Hello. Whoa, look at this. It's a big slide. All right, I'm going down. See you at the bottom. Whoa. <laughs> I love that there are two ball pits in this indoor playground. Whoa. Oh, we just swim on over. <laughs> Whoa, this is so fun. And this is definitely where the white ball belongs. There you go. <laughs> hey, look at this wall. See the two colors, pink and blue? And it makes a pattern, see? Pink, blue, pink, blue. Do you know what the next color is? <laughs> That's right, pink. Hey, look at that little car. It's so cute. And there's three more ball pit balls. There's a pink one, and a white one, and a blue one. <gasps> and there's words on this one. Let's see. You've finished the game, now count all you've done, then go down the slide for some extra fun. <gasps> Whoa, that means we finished the game. We did it, we did it, we really, really did it. Oh, awesome. Okay, it says count all you've done. Do you remember the items that we found? Okay, we found the stethoscope, the tomato, the firefighter helmet, the letter A, and a ball pit ball. Will you count the items with me? <laughs> Great. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. And then it says, Go down the slide for some extra fun. Well, let's go down the slide. Come on. Yes, now it's my turn to go down the slide. Will you count down with me? Okay, three, two, one. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> wow, that was so much fun. Hey, we figured everything out. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah, we did it. Let's go. High five. <laughs> nice job. Thank you so much for helping me with that matching game. We exercised our minds by figuring out which play center matches which item and 
and we exercise our bodies by running around this indoor playground. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. And thank you for learning with me. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, it's me, Flippy. Whoa, and I'm drinking some really tasty orange juice. Mmm, <laughs> it's so tasty. And it's sweet. And it's my favorite color. <laughs> the color orange. <laughs> hey, I wonder where orange juice comes from. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's right. It comes from oranges. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> oranges are so tasty and really good for your body because they give you lots of vitamins and energy. <laughs> yeah! There are so many cool, colorful fruits. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many different shapes and sizes. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. Whoa, <laughs> look at these fruits. These are really fuzzy. Ooh. <laughs> They're soft. Oh, yeah. These fruits are kiwi. Whoa, they're the color brown. Hmm. But kiwi, you cut them open, they're the color green. And they're really sweet inside. Whoa, blue! <laughs> they're really cool. I'm gonna save these for later. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this fruit. <laughs> this fruit is really big <clears throat> and heavy. <laughs> this is a watermelon. Whoa, and the watermelons are really big and tasty. <laughs> yeah, they're the color green, but kind of like a kiwi. If you open them up, they're red inside. And they have lots of little teeny tiny black seeds that'll grow up to be other watermelons. <laughs> Whoa! That was so cool. We learned about all these different colors and, and fruits. <laughs> and we learned about orange juice comes from oranges. Whoa! <laughs> hey, but now that we know where orange juice comes from, where do oranges come from? Hmm, maybe they grow up really tall in a tree. Or maybe down in the ground? Hmm, I'm not sure. But I know a great place that you and I can go. We can find out all we need to know about oranges. <laughs> hey, will you go with me? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. I'm so excited. It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at Showcase of Citrus in Claremont, Florida. <laughs> yeah! And today we get to learn all about oranges. Growing oranges, picking oranges, juicing oranges. <laughs> yeah! I'm super excited and hungry because oranges are really tasty. Not only that, but it's my favorite color. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Come on! <laughs> hey! I'm so excited to learn all about oranges. But first, you and I get to go on a really exciting adventure ride on these big monster trucks. <laughs> yeah! Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on! Whoa, look at it! These wheels and tires are massive! They're even taller than me! <laughs> Whoa! I just love monster trucks. Whoa! And look inside this wheel! It's really big! It echoes! Oh, hello. hello! Whoa, I am so excited to get in one of the monster trucks. And hey, look, it's the driver. Uh, hello, what's your name? Hi, my name's Amy. Hi, Amy. <gasps> I think Amy's gonna take us on a monster truck ride. This is gonna be great. Come on. And hey, look, it's Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi, come on on. Let's go. We're riding on a real life monster truck. Yeah. Let's sit down and get ready to start. All right, let's go. Okay, we're gonna go. Yeah. That's 
It's a really loud engine. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome! So, Amy, I really like oranges. Will we be able to pick some oranges to eat later? We will! Ooh. <laughs> Can we just pick any oranges we want? So, we only have a certain amount of oranges that are available to pick. Some of Ooh. them aren't ready yet, Ooh. but we do have lots of them. Well, how do you tell if an orange is ready or not? So, how you tell is usually by the color. Um, sometimes, though, it's usually more of when you feel it. Make mm. sure at least it's a little bit soft. Ooh, we like oranges that are nice and soft and juicy. We don't want an unripe orange. <laughs> no. Are those normally green oranges? They actually are. A lot of people don't know that. Um, so actually, you know during um, fall how the leaves mm -hmm. start to change? Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with oranges. They start off green and once it gets cool, um, they start to turn that nice yellow orange color. Um, and that is when you know they're ready to pick. Whoa, that's so cool. I didn't know that before. But you have leaves in fall that are green and then they turn my favorite color orange. <laughs> yeah. And Amy's telling me that it's the same thing with oranges. They're green and not very good to eat. And then they get nice and sweet and tasty as orange oranges. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun riding the monster truck with you. Well, I'm really excited because Amy's gonna help us pick some oranges in the orange grove. Yeah, come on, let's go pick some tasty oranges. <laughs> All right, so to start, you're gonna need your bag. Oh, we got our bag. You're also gonna need your picker. This is to help to get the oranges that are way high on top of the tree. Okay, and next we'll use the picker. Okay, so we need to pick some oranges, but do you remember what color we needed to pick the orange at? Hmm, <laughs> yeah, that's right, yellowish orange. See this one right here? Yeah, this orange is the color green. And it's a little firm, so it's not quite ripe yet. We wanna find one, hmm. I don't see any on this tree. Mm -hmm. Let's keep looking for an orange that's the right color. Come on. Ooh, there are so many oranges on this one. <laughs> hey, Amy, let's pick this one right here. So how do I pick this orange? All right, so we're gonna do is you're gonna pull and okay. twist. So I'll sit that yep. down. We're gonna pull and twist. There you go. Twist and pull. Ooh. Whoa. <laughs> you got two. I picked two oranges, yeah. And look, they're a nice yellowish orange color, which means they're gonna be super sweet and tasty. Yeah, okay, so I'll put these in our orange bag. Mm -hmm. Pick some more oranges. All right, I'm gonna try. Okay, let's get this one up All here. Right. We're gonna use the picker because it's too high up for me to get. We'll grab it with the picker and then gonna twist it. Whoa, <laughs> hey, and we got it, and then you just reach into the picker and you got yourself a tasty orange. Mm. Thanks, Amy. Welcome. Hey, and look, this orange tree has some really pretty white flowers. Huh. What are these white flowers called? Those are orange blossoms. Huh. Well, they sure are really pretty. What are these uh, flowers for? Just pretty decoration? No, so actually these are gonna end up turning into this. What? No way! Yeah. Did you hear that? Those pretty orange blossoms are gonna grow up big and strong and be a tasty fruit. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to eat some for myself. Hey, how about let's pick some more and then we can taste them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's keep picking some oranges. Fix it down. Whoa, here's another one. Yeah. One. Pick a second one. Two. Get another. Three. You can fit one more in there. We can fit one more. It's looking pretty full. Here we go. And four. <laughs> yeah. Four oranges. And whoa, it looks like I filled up the entire bag with oranges. <laughs> yeah. These are going to be really tasty in juice or just by themselves. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Amy. You're welcome. Let's go eat them. Come on. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun picking all of those tasty oranges from the orange grove. And now we get to enjoy them by making some tasty orange juice. Yeah, we have everything we need right here. We have some cups. Ooh. <laughs> we have our oranges. That'll have all the juice. We have 
our juicer. <laughs> yeah, and this juicer will put the oranges in here and that'll squeeze out all the juice into our cup. And last but not least, we have our cutting board and we have a knife. Now, the first thing we need to do is take our orange and cut it in half. But just remember to never use a knife without a parent's help. Okay, here we go. Whoa, look at it. It's so colorful inside. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, look at the inside. There's all these little parts that hold in all that sweet orange juice. Yeah, and look at the outside of it. All that little parts that are all white, that's called the pith. Yeah, the pith is a really healthy part of the orange. So if you're ever eating an orange, make sure you eat that part too, because it has lots of healthy vitamins. Cool, okay, so we have our oranges cut in half, and now take the juicer and a cup, put the orange in the juicer, and we're gonna squeeze really hard, and we'll watch as all the juice comes out of the bottom. Are you ready? Here we go! One, two, three! <laughs> whoa, look at it! Whoa, whoa! <laughs> yeah, and then you just take the orange out, put them right there, put in the other half. <laughs> whoa, look at all that orange juice. Whoa, it's really good that we have this juicer to help us get all the juice out. Otherwise, it would be really tricky juicing these oranges. Also, if you look at the bottom, the orange juicer has all these teeny little slits. Yeah, and those slits help to catch all of the seeds inside of the orange. Yeah, each orange, whoo, these are kind of hard to pick up, has these teeny tiny little seeds. And the seeds are gonna one day grow up and be really strong, big trees. First, the seed, you plant it in the soil, and a little leaf sprouts up. And then after you water it and take care of it for a little bit, it'll become a seedling, which is kind of like a teeny tiny little baby tree. And then it grows into a small tree, and then into a really big adult tree. And it will grow fresh oranges to pick off the tree. <laughs> Well, we already picked our oranges, so I'm gonna get to cutting and juicing so we can taste some yummy orange juice. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa, look at this one. This orange is red inside. Whoa! <laughs> That's really silly. Yeah, that's because this orange is called a red navel. It's colored red, but it'll still be really tasty. So we'll juice some of these too. was a lot of oranges to make this yummy cup of orange juice, <laughs> but I think it's all gonna be worth it. And now we get to taste the fruits of our labor. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> oh, yeah! <laughs> this is really tasty. It's super sweet and really healthy too. Did you know that orange juice has lots of vitamin C in it? And it's really good for immunity to help you fight disease and stay nice and strong and healthy. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna have another sip. <laughs> so tasty. Well, thanks so much for helping me learn how to make some orange juice. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Whoa, that was so much fun picking oranges with our good friend Amy at Showcase of Citrus. <laughs> They were so tasty! <laughs> yeah! Oh, look at this! <laughs> it looks like it's time for the Bubbles Lab! Yeah! And look at what it says! Sink or float! <laughs> yeah! I love that game! 
sink, or float. And I have a really good idea. How about we see if the fruit that we learned about and these oranges will sink or float in some water? Oh, this is going to be so much fun. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Whoa. Look at all this stuff. I am so excited for sink or float. Whoa. And it looks like we get to do a science experiment. Yeah, a science experiment. <laughs> do you know what that is? That's when you make a guess about something, like if it will sink or float, and then you try it out to see if your guess was right. <laughs> Let's go see if some fruit sink or float. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's all the delicious and colorful fruit from earlier. We have all kinds. Hey, let's start with the strawberries and see if they sink or float. Ooh. <laughs> okay, here we go. What do you think? Will they sink or float? Whoa, look at it. <laughs> they float to the top. Whoa, those strawberries are having a fun time floating. Woo, <laughs> let's try another fruit. Hmm, oh, what about this fruit? This is an avocado. Let's see if it sinks or floats. <laughs> okay, here we go. On the count of three, we're gonna drop it in. Hmm, I wonder what it does. Three, two, one. Whoa, Whoa what's it gonna do? Oh, look at it. It sinks right to the bottom. <laughs> that was really cool. Okay, it's time to try one more fruit. Hey, what about an orange? Let's try the orange. Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh, <laughs> that was bouncy. Now look, the orange floats to the top. Wait a minute. Oranges have peels. What if we peel it and try it again? Okay, let's try it. There's a little one, and it doesn't have its peel. It looks kind of silly. Ooh, <laughs> let's see if it sinks or floats. Whoa, <laughs> did you see it? Yeah, we know something sinks or floats because of density. If an orange with a peel is kind of loosely packed together, then it's gonna float. But like the peeled orange, if it's really tightly packed together, ooh, <laughs> then it'll sink to the bottom. Wow, that was so much fun doing a science experiment with you of sink or float. <laughs> Whoa, all that sweet, sweet orange juice has me in the mood for some sweet, sweet dance moves. <laughs> yeah, let's do the OJ twist together. And here are the moves. Do you remember how we picked oranges with Amy? Yeah, you grab the orange, and then you twist, and you pull it up. And then you have an orange. So that's what we're gonna do. Grab an orange, grab an orange, and twist. The second step is to have lots of fun and jump around while you're doing it. I'm so excited to dance with you. Let's go. Now take your hands and move your fist. You're doing it. The OJ twist. Do the OJ twist. Twist, twist, and twist like this. This, this, it'll be real sweet, sweet, sweet. Just move your feet, feet, feet. Do the OJ twist. Twist, twist, and twist like this. This, this, it'll be real sweet, sweet, sweet. Just move your feet, feet, feet. <laughs> was so much fun spending the day with you at the Orange Groves. Whoa! <laughs> we got to do so many awesome things, like eat oranges and pick oranges and drink some tasty orange juice. <laughs> yeah! Oh, and we even got to do a really cool bubbles lab where we learned if oranges sink or float. <laughs> and a lot of other fruits. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. E L I 
P-P-I, Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs> Me, Flippy! <laughs> and today we're here at Feast on This <laughs> in San Diego, California. Whoa! And I am so excited because today you and I get to learn about a catering company. <laughs> yeah! They make all kinds of tasty food at special events like birthdays, ooh, <laughs> or weddings. <laughs> yeah! This is gonna be so much fun! Woo! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Hello! <laughs> hey! Whoa! Look at this really cool kitchen! And hey, who's this over here? Hello! <laughs> it's me, Blippi! Hi, Blippi! Hi! What's your name? My name is Michael, and I'm an American Sign Language interpreter. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> and this is Matthew. Oh, hi, Matthew. Hello, I'm Chef Matthew Baker. I am the owner of Feast on This Catering Company. And guess what? I'm deaf, so that's why I have an interpreter who's here with me so we can communicate. Ooh, that's so cool. Hey, I have an idea. I bet Chef Matthew will help us cook some yummy food. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we're all ready to get started. Great, come on over. Come on. Whoa. So, Chef Matthew, what are we cooking today? Hmm. So we're gonna make fruit pizza. Ooh. And it's gonna look like this when it's all done. Whoa, look at it. It's a pizza, but it's covered with different types of fruit. <laughs> and I'm really excited because I love pizza. Oh, it's so delicious. <laughs> okay. Let's get started. So, Chef Matthew, what's the first thing we need to do to make the fruit pizza? Hmm. Okay, well, I am excited to have Chef Blippi with us today. So first, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open this up. So can you take this and rip this part off? Okay. And put down the crust. Okay, first, we're gonna open this up, unwrap it, right? Then, whoa. <laughs> Just like that. Do you hear that? Ooh, look at it. <laughs> it's so sticky. Oh, we're gonna take this out. Whoa, <laughs> look at it. Whoa. <laughs> okay, and now we unroll it. We're gonna make it really flat. See like this. Here we go. Let's see if we can unroll. This is so sticky. <laughs> I can't wait for this to be done. This is gonna be so tasty. <laughs> now we move on to step number two. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the, it in the oven at 350 degrees. That means it's time to dance. Best thing to do while you wait for your pizza crust to finish cooking is have a lot of fun dancing. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, I'm pretty tired after all that dancing. I think we should keep on working on the other ingredients and we'll come back and get the crust a little later. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Okay, so what's the next step? Okay, now we're gonna make the cream cheese frosting. Oh, that's tasty. <laughs> okay, so cream cheese, awesome, and I guess. So we're gonna put eight ounces of cream cheese, which is in that bowl. And now we're gonna add some powdered sugar. Okay. Can you hand me that half a cup measure? Yeah, half a cup. Yeah, right here. Half a cup. Okay. And we're gonna fill it up. Whoa! <laughs> Look at the sugar. It looks like snow. Whoa! It's so cool. And it's really soft when you touch it. <laughs> I bet this is gonna make it so tasty. Okay, so we take the sugar and we're just gonna put it on top. Oh wait, 
You're gonna make a mess. You have to put on an apron first. Oh, I almost forgot. Silly me. And here we go. You don't wanna have a sugar mess. Yeah, always make sure you put on an apron so you don't get your clothes covered in powdered sugar or other food. Okay, I think I'm just about. You need help? Ready, <laughs> thanks. Okay. So you can put that in. Okay. Here we go. Whoa, look at it go. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Okay, so now, what do we do next? Oh, now you're gonna put in okay. two tablespoons okay. of pineapple juice, which is right there. Okay, here we go. Two tablespoons of pineapple juice. Okay. One tablespoon. Woo! <laughs> and two tablespoons. Whoa, it's looking really tasty already. Okay. And now you can mix it up. Ooh, okay. I guess we get to mix it up. Here we go. 15 minutes later. <laughs> yeah. Let's check the oven. And Chef Matthew, he gave me some really nice orange gloves. And they're my favorite color. Woo! <laughs> okay, let's get out the crust. Okay. We have the crust right here. Oh. <gasps> And it looks so flaky and golden brown. I can't wait to eat this yummy crust. <laughs> but let's put a couple more toppings on it because it could taste even better with those. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> we'll let this cool off a little more. So what should we do while we wait? Okay, so. Whoa. <laughs> okay. okay. Now. We're gonna talk about all the fruits that are here on the table. Yes. So okay. this is a banana. Okay. And we'll cut it up. Now remember, if you use a knife, you wanna make sure you have a professional <laughs> like Chef Matthew or a grown-up to help you out because they can be a little dangerous. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh, really good at cutting. <laughs> I'll try my best too. Here we go. Okay. So now that the banana sliced, what do we do with it? Okay, now we have blueberries. Ooh. Blueberries. Ooh. Did you see that? Chef Matthew was teaching us how to sign blueberries in ASL, or American Sign Language. And these are kiwi. Oh, you see these? <laughs> they look so yummy. And there's no sign for kiwi, so you have to spell. Okay. K. K, K I, I W W I I. Whoa, that was really cool. It's, let's see if we can spell that one more time, a little slower. <laughs> and this time you can try to follow along with us if you like. Are you ready? So K I W I. <laughs> Kiwi doesn't have a sign, so you just spell it. <laughs> Whoa. And what about this over here? These are strawberries. Whoa, have you eaten a kiwi before? They're so sweet. <laughs> Chef Matthew, do you have a favorite fruit? And I love have, having strawberries all year round, but during the summer, I love eating blueberries. Ooh, <laughs> I love eating blueberries in the summer too. <laughs> wow. This smiley face has a really big smile. <laughs> Look at it. Whoa. <laughs> you missed the nose. Oh no. What are we gonna do for the nose? Hmm. Wait a minute. I know. <laughs> we have a strawberry. <laughs> so silly. This is gonna be a really cool nose. <laughs> and I bet this smiley face is really happy because it gets to smell like strawberries all the time. <laughs> Here we go. And we need a little more strawberry so it tastes super good. So let's make some strawberry. Some ears. Yeah, let's put some ears on the side. Maybe add a tongue. Oh, a tongue? <laughs> Whoa, that's a really good idea. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're done decorating all of the pizza. Well, this was so much fun learning about ASL and making a really delicious smiley face treat. <laughs> Wait a minute, Flippy. You missed one thing. 
Mm. One very important thing to make a perfect pizza, you need the pineapple glaze. The glaze! Oh! <laughs> Well, I'll let you do this part, Chef Matthew. And I guess we pour the glaze on top. Whoa! Look at it. Whoa! <laughs> the glaze is gonna make it so tasty <laughs> and really sweet. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That looks great. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Matthew. <laughs> that was awesome. Whoa! <gasps> We did so many amazing things and followed all the steps to make a really yummy pizza for our feast. <laughs> well, it was so nice to meet you both. <laughs> and it was nice to have a fun time with you. Hey, wait, I have an idea. Why don't we spell my name together? Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I. P-P-I. <laughs> Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Oh, hey. It's me, Blippi. And look at what I have here. Whoa, this is a scale. Yeah, you put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. Take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather <laughs> or a rock? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah, do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa! Yeah, that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa. Whoa. That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Okay. All right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple, and this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit, and I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow, <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah, the feathers were so big, and then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty, whoa, light. <laughs> wow. See, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah, you're right. Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier than three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, 
Let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect. Put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay. All right. Now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> we have a T-Rex. <laughs> okay. You can stand right there. Oh, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then... We have a Triceratops. <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys, yeah. This T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup and then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense? Because they're actually going to be roughly the, the, no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay. All right. One quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and... Okay, oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect, there we go. Okay, gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay, here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. Now, we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa, I don't want to spill. Ready? Ah, perfect. <laughs> okay, stay nice and organized. Be sure to clean up. All right, now let me tie this. Okay, so we use the same amount a volume, one quarter cup of rice, one quarter cup of water. Okay, now we get to do the fun part. We get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense, which one is heavier. Ready? Yeah, the blue was rice. Whoa, rice is more dense than water. Whoa! Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah! Construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa! Huh. This excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa! <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy, let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground, and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah. That is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow track machine.
machine Whoa. Found on mines, farms, and factories Whoa. It can push most anything Whoa. Bulldozers stirring up debris Bulldozers help the farmers work By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa Move all kinds of things. Bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. Bulldozer clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer pushing rubble and sand. Roll, roll on, bulldozer. Better move over. Here comes the it's bulldozer. It's a yellow machine. Ring, ring. Right, <laughs> put in the blocks. Here we go. Go to the other side. Dump them out. There we go. Two more blocks on this side. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to clean up now. Hello. Hey, it's me, Flippy. And look at where I'm at. Whoa, today I'm at Young Chef's Academy in Covington, Washington. This place is so cool. Yeah, it's where young chefs, kids just like you, can come here and learn to cook some delicious treats. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, Flippy. Hey, who are you? My name's Chef Riley. Oh, nice to meet you, Chef Riley. Hey, do you mind if we go explore the kitchen? Go for it. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, let's go. Wow, look at this kitchen. It is so bright and colorful. Whoa, come on. Okay, the very first thing that I need to do enter kitchen is wash your hands. Okay, I'm gonna turn on hot water and then I'm gonna rinse them. Okay, get them nice and moist. And then we need some soap. Okay, and we need to scrub for 20 seconds. And one way to do this is to sing the ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. <laughs> okay, now we get to rinse off our hands. Let's get them nice and dry. Now, once our hands are dry, clean, now we can put on an apron. <laughs> yeah, an apron is used so then clothes not get dirty when you're cooking with some food. <laughs> All right, and can't forget my Young Chef's Academy chef's hat. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> All right, check it out. This kitchen is so colorful. Do you see all these cabinets? Yeah! Whoa! These, yeah, are the color green. Ooh, this over here, yeah, that cabinet is purple. 
pink, yellow, and blue. Whoa, I bet there's a lot of cool things in these cabinets. Whoa, look at this. Some yummy vegetables. Hey, do you know what kind of vegetable this is? Yeah, this is an orange pepper. <laughs> look at these. Yeah, some green beans. I sure do love vegetables. All right, <laughs> I'm so excited. Wow, I am so excited. This is gonna be tasty. I am looking at the recipe of what we're gonna be making today. Looks like we're gonna be making crispy green beans. Whoa, those look tasty. And creamy ranch dip. Oh, this is gonna be so yummy and healthy. I love vegetables and I love ranch dip. I wonder if we're gonna be able to dip the green beans into the ranch dip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it seems like we need a lot of tools and a lot of ingredients. So uh, let's get to it. All right, let's see what's in here that we need. Okay, looks like we need some measuring cups. Ooh, a small one, a medium sized one, another medium sized one, and a big one. Put those right back here. Perfect. Then we need whoa, a juicer. This is where you can put a lemon or an orange or a lime, squeeze it on top, and then all the juice comes out the bottom. Okay, we'll set that down right there. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Hmm. Oh, we definitely need some measuring spoons. Whoa! Yeah, same thing, just like the measuring cups. The measuring spoons have four different sizes. From small, to medium, to medium, to large. <laughs> okay, put them right, about right in there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see, how about, uh, oh. Wow, a measuring cup. This is what you put liquids, and you could do solids, but this is primarily for liquids. And this is what you measure to see how much you have. Okay, put that down right there. Oh, let's see, is there anything in here? Hmm, there's a lot of cool things in here. Whoa, look at this, it's a rolling pin. <laughs> oh, so cute. This is a small rolling pin. Whoa, and this, is a big rolling pin. Whoa, they're used to flatten things out. I don't think we need those today, but they're pretty cool because we can use them for drums. Okay, enough playing. <laughs> let's get to cooking. All right, let's see. Um, Probably right in here. Oh, yeah. Two ingredients that we need. Breadcrumbs. Alright, there we go. And uh, let's see, how about some cold ingredients? Wow, look at this fridge. It's so organized. <laughs> okay, looks like we have some cream, probably for the ranch dip. We'll set that down right there. Ooh, some cheese, Parmesan cheese. Okay, we'll put that down right there. And then we have some eggs. Yeah, check this out. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll put those down right there for later. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that at home. And then we have some mayonnaise. Put that down right here. And some sour cream, okay. Put that down, and now, I think we're ready. Hmm. Uh, looks like we have most of the ingredients and tools, but this looks really hard. Oh no, if only I had some help. Uh, 
Want some help with these? Oh, sure. I hey. Brought, hey, I brought the rest of our ingredients that we need. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, here's the recipe. What do we do first? First, we're going to want to preheat the oven to 425. Okay, uh, I know how to do that. Okay, preheat the oven to 425. Perfect. <laughs> Good job, Whoopi. Thank you. All right, first, we're going to want to do a tablespoon of flour into our bowl. Okay. We're going to want to make sure that we get a true tablespoon because that is not accurate. So we want to scrape off the extra flour. Okay. Okay. Can you do that? Sure. Okay. Looks like we need some flour. Let's do a little scoop. And there we go. And perfect. Great job, Lippy. Thank you. All right. Next, we're going to want to crack an egg. Okay. Let's see. So at Young Chefs Academy, we crack an egg using the table, not the edge of the counter, so that it doesn't get all over the floor in the mess. Okay. <laughs> you want to crack hard Ooh. and use your thumbs to break open the egg. Just like that. Perfect. You'll want to put the shell in a separate bowl. Okay, here we go. Let's use the table. There we go. Great job, Lippy. Thank Next, you. Next, we're going to want to wash our hands because we touched a raw egg. Oh. rinse them off. It's really important to rinse off your hands and wash them completely after touching raw eggs or meat or anything like that. Now we're ready. Okay. All right. Next we're going to want to do a cup of panko. Okay. Use our cup there. Wow. So this looks about right. Yeah, so is panko just like breadcrumbs? It is, it's dried breadcrumbs. Okay, all right. Oh, I'll just use that. Okay, one big scoop. All right, in the same bowl? Yeah, oh, so sorry, in a different bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, here we go. Whee! Perfect. All right, next we're gonna wanna add the rest of our spices. Which okay. is garlic salt and salt. Okay. So we're gonna wanna use a, tea, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic salt in our panko. Okay. There we go. This one? Mm hmm. Okay. And then put it in the panko. Perfect. And then half of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Thank you. Wow, salt is so yummy. Here we go. Can you use your whisk and whisk that up? Yeah. Oh, check it out. This is a whisk. Yeah. And <laughs> How do you do it? Whisk with your wrist. Okay. Whoa. This is a really good way to mix good it all up. Job. Yeah, you want to use it like that. All right, next we're gonna wanna put our egg into this mixing bowl, the clean mixing bowl that we have. Okay, here we go. Put the egg in this bowl. Whee! Oh! <laughs> All right. And we're gonna wanna use a little bit of water. Just gonna water this. In with the egg. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Put some water in with the egg. Perfect. Can you whisk that, whisk that egg up with the fork for me? With the fork. Okay. Forks are easier to whisk eggs than a whisk is. Oh. So you want to whisk it just like that. Okay. So let's take the fork and let's whisk the egg. Whoa. Did you see how the yolk broke up? Yeah, and now it's all mixed up. Perfect. That's perfect. 
it. We're gonna grab a couple handfuls of green beans right in here. Okay. All right. Perfect. And toss it in our flour. All right. Make sure you get them all nice and mixed up and coated in flour. Okay. Toss it. Wow. This Look is gonna help the egg stick to the green bean. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Look, they used to be green, but now they're green and white. <laughs> hey, remember how we washed our hands? Yeah, good thing we did because I'm touching food with my hands. You don't want to touch anything after you touch egg or raw meat. You want to make sure you wash your hands. Okay. All right. Now we are going to touch the egg. We're going to put the green beans. We're going to use two different hands. We're going to have our dry hand and our wet hand. So we're not going to touch the egg with this hand. We're going to put our green beans in here and toss it around. Okay. Take the fork out. Now, let's do a little tossy. There we go. Whoa, <laughs> I'm spilling. That's okay. Okay, wow. Look at it. <laughs> There's so much egg on these green beans. Okay. All okay. right, great. Now you're gonna wanna put the green beans into the panko. Toss them around real quick. Okay. Wow, oh, that looks job. fun. And once they're nice and evenly coated in panko, you wanna put them onto the tray. Okay, whoa. These are gonna be so yummy. I know, I'm excited. Let's put them a little bit nicer so okay. that they're not so messy. Okay. All that right. way they'll cook really evenly when they're spread out on the there tray. There go. That makes sense. Oh, I see, because if they're on top of each other, then the heat can't touch the whole green bean, huh? Exactly. You want to make sure that the whole thing is getting cooked. We're ready for the oven. Okay, here we go. Here you go. Thank you. Perfect. Those will take about 10 to 12 minutes to cook. Whoa, that was really fun making those green beans with you. Wasn't it? Yeah, let's make some ranch to dip them in. What ingredients do we need? We need mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk. Oh, wait, did you say buttermilk? Yeah. Oh, I said cream earlier. Okay, so we need buttermilk. Yeah, they're very similar, but buttermilk smells different and it's a little thicker. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, lemon juice, dill weed, parsley, chives, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. Okay, perfect. Looks like we have everything. I think we do. All right, next we're gonna wanna, so I have mine all mixed up. Can you put the mayo and the sour cream into your big bowl? Okay, here's the mayo. Then we have the sour cream. Ready? There we go. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna wanna get our fourth, one fourth teaspoon. Okay. Perfect, I'm ready. And we're gonna use that for our dill right here. Okay. Parsley and our chives. Okay. Dill, parsley, and chives. Here we go. Good job, Puppy. <laughs> Next, we're going to want our half teaspoon. Okay. A little bigger. <laughs> All right. All right. And we use that for our garlic powder okay. and our onion powder. All right. Okay. Let's give it a little scoop. Okay. And then this one. Perfect. This is going to be so yummy. Perfect. Let's mix that up with our whisk. Don't right. forget, we whisk with our wrist. All right. Whoa, this smells so good. Once it's all mixed up, 
we're gonna cover it and place it in the fridge to cool. All right, we only have three more ingredients. Okay, what are they? Lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Okay. First, we wanna juice our lemon. Okay. So you have a lemon right up there. Perfect. We have it cut in half and we'll use our juicer here. We want to make sure we squeeze really tight, pushing down and twisting it around to get all of that juice out. Okay. Yes, I'll try. Oh, there we go. Good oh, job. Yeah. When you take it off, your lemon should look something like this. Yeah. It's almost empty. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's that for you. And then we'll want to pour our lemon juice into our ranch. Okay, here we go. Whee! <laughs> awesome. Mix that up. All right. Yum. Now we want to do one fourth teaspoon of salt. Right like this. Okay. Put some salt in here. There we go. Whee! <laughs> and a pinch of pepper. So we'll go about three twists. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's mix that up. All right, mix, mix, mix. Good. Remember to mix with your wrist. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, this is gonna be so yummy. Be delicious. <laughs> did you hear that? I did. Does that mean the green beans are done? It does, you wanna grab them? Sure. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> Oh, yum! Wow! Oh, it looks delicious, Blippi. Whoa, check them out! Oh my gosh! Alright, Blippi, it looks like our green beans and zesty ranch are all ready. Ooh, so good. Those look yummy. Check them out. Whoa, I am so excited. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make these. Of course, you did such a good job. Come back anytime. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That is delicious. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, you'd think because they're green, they're not good. <laughs> but hey, trust me, it's really fun to try new types of foods. Yeah, like these yummy green beans that we made. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Yum. Even healthy foods can be really yummy. <laughs> Good job cooking! <laughs> Ooh, <yee -haw. laughs> Wasn't that fun making those green beans and that ranch dipping sauce? Yum! It was so tasty! Hey, if you want to check out the exact recipe, you can go to Young Chef's Academy website and check out their blog. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name! Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And I was just making some sweet tunes on my tambourine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Musical instruments are so fun. And this one is called a tambourine. <laughs> yeah, it is so much fun to play because you can play it like a drum. It has this outside part right here that you can hit like this. <laughs> but what's super fun about a tambourine is the back. Whoa, look at it. It has all these little Jingles. <laughs> Do you know what shape this tambourine is? <laughs> yeah, it's a circle. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's a circle 
and all the little jingles and jangles around it are also little teeny tiny circles. <laughs> yeah, those are called zills. Ooh, zills. <laughs> That's a really silly name for something on a tambourine. <laughs> it is really fun to play because when you hit it, it makes a beat. Yeah, a beat. Have you heard of a beat before? <laughs> a beat is a part of music that you can feel helps you dance along. <laughs> Playing with this tambourine was so fun. What if you and I made up a song on the spot about a tambourine? <laughs> okay, let's try. Here we go. My name is Blippi. How about you? This is a tambourine. It's brand new. Bang it on your hand to keep the beat. Feel it in your toes and move your feet. <laughs> yeah, good job. That was so much fun learning about tambourines and making up our very own song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but look at this. This table is covered with different musical instruments. Whoa, look at them all. <laughs> hmm. Hey, look at this over here. Do you know what shape this musical instrument is? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's a triangle. And guess what? The name of this instrument is the same as its shape. It's called a triangle. <laughs> yeah, triangles are really cool and make a very, very pretty sound. Hmm. How about I hit this triangle with this little stick and see what sound it makes? What do you think? Should I play the triangle? <laughs> okay, here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three, triangle! Did you hear that sound? Let's play it again. Whoa! If you close your eyes, it kinda sounds like a little fairy. Or maybe the bell telling you that dinner's ready. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting hungry. <laughs> this triangle is really cool because it makes a really pretty ding sound. But depending on how you hold it or hit this triangle, can make different sounds, like this. Ooh, that's different. <laughs> Maybe not as pretty, but definitely cool. It would make some really interesting music. You can also hit it soft for a little ding, <laughs> or really big and loud for a big ding. Here we go. Whoa, triangles are so cool. Hey, and look at this over here. What's this? Hmm, well, this doesn't look like a musical instrument because it's not a musical instrument. This is a metronome. Yeah, this is really helpful if you're trying to keep the beat and stay on time. Mm-hmm, yeah. See this right here? This metronome is gonna move and tell us how fast the beat of the song is. Okay. Here we go. And with this metronome, you'll see something really cool. Whoa! <laughs> Do you hear the dings? <laughs> Whoa! See, it moves back and forth and tells you the beat of the song. <laughs> Whoa! I'm getting a little bit dizzy after dancing like a metronome. Woo! <laughs> that was really fun. Hey, and it's really important to make sure to stay on beat and something like a metronome is super helpful to keep you on time. <laughs> oh, and look at this. This is awesome. <laughs> I bet you might have seen one of these instruments before. Yeah, this is a keyboard or a piano. <laughs> yeah, and this keyboard is really awesome because it's an electric instrument. Yeah, this electric instrument means it needs electricity or batteries to make it work. Whoa, and look at how cool it is. It has all these keys, see? 
It has some white keys. Yeah, a lot of white keys you can press with your fingers. And some black keys too. Yeah, in between the white keys. You can press those too to make different notes. Hmm. Notes. What's a note? Hmm. Let's turn on the keyboard and find out. <laughs> Did you hear that? Whoa, that makes such a pretty sound. If you press one of the keys, it makes a note. <laughs> if you press a different key somewhere else on the keyboard, it'll make a different note. Whoa, that note sounds different. It also makes me feel a little different too. <laughs> note sounds pretty happy. <laughs> this note sounds a little confused. Whoa! <laughs> and you can also play songs using lots of different notes. <laughs> the cool thing about a keyboard is it has so many sounds, you can make all kinds of songs. Like maybe you want a song to be a little spooky for Halloween. like a ghost is around. Whoa, <laughs> that was pretty fun though. And you can also play things that are maybe a little more classical or serious. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh, it's making me thirsty for some very yummy tea and cookies. <laughs> you also can play other things instead of just using your fingers. Whoa, you can be really silly and use your whole hand like I change the sound, make a fist, I can roll my fist and play a song. <laughs> Whoa, that's a really funny song. <laughs> I'm gonna play it again. Oh, keyboards are so amazing. You can even make songs that sound magical. Music is so amazing! Hey, and when you use notes, it makes the song sound even better. <laughs> hey, earlier we made up a song about a tambourine, but we only had beats. Now that we have notes, let's sing a new song with some notes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday from Flippy. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We sang a song using notes and made up a song using beats. <laughs> this was so much fun learning about musical instruments with you. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, good. Here we go. P-L-I. P-P-I. Blippi. <laughs> good job. Well, I'll see you real soon. I'm going to keep playing some sweet tunes. And hey, this one even plays itself. Bye-bye. And I was just making some sweet tunes with this bowl. And <laughs> you like that? <laughs> That's funny. But hey, today we're not going to learn about tunes. We're going to learn about, yeah, how to make clay. Yeah, look at it. Look at how many cool colors I have. Whoa, look. <laughs> so much fun to play with. Whoa, and you can roll it up and make things with it. Look, I just made a baseball. <laughs> wow, 
All right, let's look at all the colors. We have orange, white, blue, purple, green, red, black, and light blue. Whoa! And today, yeah, you and I are gonna make some of this. Yeah, and this recipe you can make at home with a grown-up. Yeah, and then after you make it, you can squish it nice and flat, and then you take some of these and and then you can cut it out. Whoa! And maybe we can spell some words together. Maybe we can make an airplane together. Whoa, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is have all the ingredients for this clay. Yeah, here we go. And I have my recipe right here. <laughs> first, we need a bowl. And what I would do if I was you, I would probably have a grown-up help you because this can get really messy and there's a lot of ingredients. Yeah, all right. So first, we need to start with one cup of flour. Whoa. Okay, let's open this up. There we go. And it doesn't need to be exact. Yeah, that is one cup of flour. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that is a great base for the clay we're making. Okay, all right. Let's see, one quarter cup of salt. All right, it is definitely already getting really messy. Okay, one quarter cup. And then we need to grab some salt. Here we go. Perfect, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, perfect. All right. Okay, let me zip this back up. Yeah, and then we need one teaspoon of cream of tartar. <laughs> what a silly name! <laughs> That's so fun! Cream of tartar! <laughs> one teaspoon. Oh, there's so many. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Here we go. And we're going to mix all this up in a little bit. But for now, <laughs> let's pour all the ingredients in here. Then we have a half a tablespoon of oil. Okay, whoa. This is where it might get a little messy. Okay. Perfect. All right, put the lid back on just so it does not spill. That would be bad news berry. <laughs> okay, and then we have a half cup of H2O. You know what H2O stands for? Yeah! Water. I love water. All right, half of a cup. Perfect. All right. Oh, hey, look, I forgot to close up the flour. We should probably do that. All right, let's push all that stuff to the side because now we're ready to mix it up. But what we need to do is put in some color. You can make any color you want. But what we're gonna do, although we already have a green color, I think we should make another green. But this one will be a little bit lighter. So. Let's open this up, add some green. I don't know how much to add, but that seems like quite a bit. And then also I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. Yeah, it's going to make it more of a, a bright green. Let's close that up. Whoa, that was a fun recipe to make, but now... <laughs> I gotta mix it up. Whoa, it's looking so good. <laughs> wow. You see it? Whoa. All right, let me keep mixing it up. Whoa, yeah! We did it! Whoa, 
Wow! Check it out! Wow! Whoa! Homemade clay! Wow! What a pretty green color we made. Good job! I wonder what color you're going to make at home for your first color. So now what you can do with this, it's so much fun. You can actually smash it flat. Watch this trick. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> that's silly. Okay, let's peel it off. Wow, perfect. And then now you can use these. Yeah, they're like cookie cutters, but these are definitely not cookies that we're making. I would not eat this, okay? All right, okay. Uh, yeah, remember that airplane? Whoa! Yeah, check it out! Okay, now you push it down. Whoa, look! <laughs> Cut an airplane out. But first, let's push it out of here. Wow. Yeah, we did such a good job. Whoa! <laughs> wow, okay, I'll put that airplane right there. Now, let's bring all the colors that we have out. And then, let's see what we can make together. Okay, so let's put that green back. And we have the airplane right there. What else? Oh, we have some letters. We have, ooh, a dog. Woof, woof. Will you act like a dog with me? Ready? Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> wow, <laughs> dogs are so cute. Okay, let's make a blue dog. That sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? Okay. You know what to do. Smash out your clay nice and flat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Push it down. All right. Whoa. Look at that. Whoa. Pull the sides away. Wow, and now, oh, <laughs> that's silly. Look, what is that? Yeah, it's a little poochie. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay, we'll save you. We'll put you right there. Perfect, all right. One pooch and one airplane. Huh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, hey, I think we have some letters over here. We can spell something out. Okay, looks like we have a B, a P, an I, an L, huh, a B, a P, an I, and an L. What word can you think that uses those letters? A B, a P, an I, and an L. Hmm. I know! Yeah, my name! <laughs> Blippi! Yeah, we can actually spell my whole name out just with these four letters. See, we would go like this. We would use a B, an L, an I. We would do two P's, and then we would use another I. Perfect. All right, let's do that. All right, first we need some colors. So let's use this blue color. Yeah, there we go. Let's do a B right there. Perfect. Whoa, this is gonna be so cool. Yeah, and if you use some of this at home, maybe you could spell your name. Okay, let's use some purple. All right, so we got a blue B right here. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and then we have an L. All right, nice little L right there. Yeah. So 
So B, L, then we need an I. How does that look? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. B, L, I. Yeah. B, L, I. What's the next letter? Yeah, P. And there's two of them. Let's use one of my favorite two colors. Yeah, the color orange. B, L, I. P. We need another P. We'll use the color black. <laughs> this is so much fun. It feels so cool on my hands. Ooh, another P. Yeah. So we got, here we go. We got B, L, I, P, P. What's the next letter? B, L, I, P, P. Yeah, I. And let's use this bright red color. All right, here we go. B L I P P I. Here we go. Oh, how does that look? B L I P P I. Yeah, good job. All right. Okay, let's put these down here with the dog and the airplane. There we go. All right. Now let's make one more thing. Huh? Hey. Well, since we have all these stencils and these cookie cutters. Yeah, you could actually use a lot of them. You can make a star. You can make a heart. You could make, ooh, a butterfly. Yeah. Or you could use some other tools. Yeah, like this spoon or this fork. And see, look at this. See, you can use the fork and, yeah, act like you're in the garden. Do, 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 do. Yep, gotta make the soil nice and soft, so then you can plant some plants. Wow. <laughs> but I'm definitely making a mess with all these small pieces, so. Look at this. This is a cool trick that I learned. See, you can actually pick up a lot of the pieces by smashing it. Yeah, it's kind of fun, huh? <laughs> okay, but watch this. Hey, we haven't used this color green yet. So, if you take the spoon, and you scoop it, although it's a half of a circle, we go all the way around, you actually might be able to scoop a full circle. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Yeah, look. There we go. Whoa, look. <laughs> it's like a circle. Wow. <laughs> and then you can put it in your hands Roll it around. Yeah, look. It's like a basketball. <laughs> oh, oh, that was silly. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun making this clay with you. Did you have fun making clay with me? Yeah, and it was really fun. Yeah, using those cookie cutters to cut out some of the clay into an airplane. Yeah, a doggy, woof, 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 woof. <laughs> and my name, Blippi. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B, oh. L, I, P, P, I. Flippy. All right. Thank you so much for being my friend. See you soon. Bye bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make a learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to share.